Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. So today's reading is going to be about whose energy are you feeling? Who is trying to come in hot into your life? It is Mercury retrograde as you guys get to this reading. So this reading will be about that. But of course my readings are timeless. So if you find this reading at a later date and you wanna know who's all up in your energy field and what's going on, this is definitely the reading for you. Now I have six options. You guys are the drills of the numbers, the stones, see what calls out to you. Now, while you guys do that, I have a really exciting announcement. I am now launching memberships on this account so you guys can join. I'm going to be uploading old exclusive Patreon videos you guys have probably never seen or forgot about if you're on there. And also, I'm going to be doing some vlogging behind the scenes and fun experimental stuff. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and do so. It'll really support me and my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Of course, I'm still on Patreon. It's only a dollar to support me on there. All right, you guys can also check out my website, Love Assist Visions. I have a lot going on. I also sell Oracle decks in my shop. Okay, thank you guys so much for sitting through the intro. Let's just get right into the reading and find out who's up in your energy field. Why are you up all night? Who is coming in hot? All right, let's get started. Okay, pile number 111. Let's hop right into the reading and find out. Who is up in your energy? Who is coming back into your life? Okay, 111. This one is very, very interesting because this is someone I feel, you guys feel, is unlikely they want to come back or unlikely you felt like this person would even want to come back because of what had happened between the two of you or you guys feel it's unlikely this person even likes you or still likes you but you're going to be very surprised that this person has had a vision of reuniting with you for quite some time now and I feel one well, one this person definitely looks up to you but their actions did not suggest that. I feel this person is a very poor communicator and probably even has been quite toxic towards this connection. I was actually hearing that one song. I'm surprised you called me after the things that I said. It's like that one. I forgot the name of the song. I think it's like SZA, but that's what I'm seeing because I feel that something had happened in this connection where you maybe I said bad things to this person or they said bad things to you or someone did something quite awful to one another in someone else's eyes or perspective. Maybe you guys feel you said things that made this person not want to come back because you were angry or this person feels they did something that made you guys really angry. But I do feel with this like rose ceremony thing, like this person definitely did not want this relationship to end despite what had happened here. And I feel they want another chance with you, 111. I feel this person has had a vision of reuniting with you or getting back into your life since this relationship has ended, actually, they never wanted this situation to end. I just think that they made a wrong move here and it definitely ended badly. And they honestly feel kind of bad about it. I feel one one one, you would be quite surprised that this person, if you had said something to them that was hurtful, they kind of feel like they deserve it. Like you may feel this person does not want to take accountability or doesn't want to come back. But in reality, they've had quite the, um, I want to say ego death, actually, which I think that you guys will find this quite unlikely because I don't feel like this is somebody that you guys want back anymore. I think you have let go of the idea of this person just because of their actions. And it's not because I feel this person is like the worst. It may have been a situation where communication was quite bad or something came out and there wasn't enough like closure here or someone was just not doing their part, probably this person to communicate or move this situation further. So I feel like you guys got really frustrated because there's something that tells me that this is a kind of divinely orchestrated relationship just because of the drive this person has towards you. And I do feel with that Taurus and Libra, not gonna lie to you guys, these planets are ruled by the seventh house. This person can get it. They probably have a lot of options. Probably the reason why you guys may have been flustered or frustrated with this person because of the fact that maybe they were non-committal or they had feelings and they couldn't express that to you. Uh, again, this person could have Libra or seventh house placements as well in the chart if this person uh, is not a Taurus or Libra. I definitely think this person can have like um, rising sun or moon, Taurus or Libra because these... Um, these signs came out stronger and they're both ruled by Venus. So I also feel that this is a person that doesn't normally fall in love. And I feel as though they have strong feelings for you. And that's why they want to come back because you guys may feel like, oh, this is toxic. I don't want anything to do with this. I've never been treated so low or whatever you guys feel about this, right? Because I feel like you guys are kind of mad or even over it. And I feel like you're not over it because you don't care. Maybe you don't care anymore. But I feel like you're over it just because you've already been tried with this person or they did something so disgusting to you guys in your eyes but in their eyes they never felt this way before and it's like all new to them so i think that the way that they were acting was like them kind of malfunctioning. functioning and i actually made time stamp time stamps today um out of my printable deck you guys can purchase this in my etsy shop also um uh, it's also in my um shopify shop sorry guys it's been a long 27 years as i always say i'm always like trying to get these readings out to you but um this person is definitely like stuttering when it comes to admitting their feelings because I just started stuttering when I wanted to flip over this card. Look, I watch your pages and they don't want you to know that because this person either has a fake account. 
I definitely feel like you blocked this person or you're mad at them or this person is really coming across as not interested and you guys are fed up with them because if you got fed up with this person, for some of you, you didn't say anything to them. You just kind of kept it moving because this person was playing games or pulled back their energy. I feel this energy of you guys thinking this person is not coming back because of either the falling out just being too much, you're just done with them, or this person just pulling away and you guys just being like, all right, I guess they're just not that interested, you know? But I feel this person is watching your pages and you can feel it. Like you're seeing signs about them. You probably even see this person maybe watching your stuff or your stories or your Snapchat or whatever you guys are on. But for some of you, this person is blocked. 110% this is a fake account stalker and I feel you guys can feel them and it's like that's why you may feel sad at times or you may feel this person's energy at times or could be even dreaming about them because this energy is a lot more intense than you guys even expect from this person's behavior and this is because this person is literally head over heels for you we got the queen of cups and then we have the two of cups in oh well it's gonna come out reverse but they actually want it right set up okay I feel like this again like you guys are trying to like flip this card over like I feel like you guys are trying to like end this and this chapter, oh, I don't even know what that was. That was like my room therapy thing talking. Yeah, I feel like you guys are trying to end this chapter. Okay, so 111, I just got distracted because a video started playing and it was like affirmations. And I think 111, you guys actually had a huge impact on this person because of the stuff that you guys either talk about or post. I definitely feel you guys are like my mentors, my teachers, my healers. And whether or not these people like it or not, a lot of people in your life are going to be very gravitated towards your energy because of your spiritual purpose here. And you guys don't have to be actual spiritual teachers. I just feel you're very positive and motivational. I would not be surprised if you guys run a page that helps a lot of people or you guys are online because that one 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 or you guys are destined to be that because I do feel if you haven't started up any pages or you haven't started up that career, you guys are younger or you have, or even if you're older and you want to do those things, this is a sign that you have an ability to really make a major impact on people because you may not realize that the things that you guys put out there, the things that you say are so positive, they're life changing. And I feel that you have had life changing conversations with this person and if you haven't had life-changing conversations it could be the stuff that you guys are posting and doing that has changed this person's life for the better i would not be surprised if a lot of you guys post things or post about affirmations or even do law of attraction yourself or some of you guys like i usually play sometimes my subliminal to the background usually just like clearing negative energy um before i do these readings and um some of you guys may actually do stuff like that or maybe you do play them in the background when you were hanging out with this person and they didn't know but maybe it's just something you do or you guys just like sound healing or you're just a healer yourself like your energy is just so healing that it triggered this person into something that they like an awakening of some kind i feel i definitely feel you guys did something unintentional that has changed the course of somebody's life okay for some of you guys i think this one is quite funny this person may have done something messed up to you and some of you may have hexed this person but uh, i know i don't usually like talk about this but i think it's funny because if you guys are anything like myself you don't really like doing that those type of things i never really have done it but there are times in my life where I'm so angry that I feel that I could have sent like energy at somebody like, how dare they do that? You know, because um, I have read some astrology placements or some people who have a lot of spiritual power in them can naturally just send energy to people because I have Mercury in my eighth house. And I read like, hey, be careful what you say to people because words are spells as well. So I feel you guys could have been like, oh, I wish that, you know, you could just see how horrible you are and how much you need to change da, da, da. and somehow energetically maybe they were listening to you or you have impacted this person because i just feel you guys don't even realize how bad this person has it for you and you might find it funny or some of you guys like might be quite shocked and actually interested in the change that this person has made in their life uh but i do feel that they see you as someone they want to be with we got the queen of cups there not only that they see you as the most beautiful amazing nurturing person this person has been around 111. You may not know this, or you may have picked up on it, but this person has been around town, the city, the world, doesn't matter, okay? But maybe that's part of the reason why you're you're pissed. Um, but I'm hearing you gave this person a run for the money because I feel that you guys came into this person's life as karma. Like now I'm seeing that this is divine orchestration. Maybe you guys don't want this person, but maybe your angels set this up or their guys or whatever it is going on here because this person needed intervention because they were doing some things they shouldn't have been doing. They were going down a bad road and you guys came in energetically and inter intervened because I do feel that a lot of people have a lot of spiritual powers in them and they incarnated for like special purposes. But 
with all this mess going on in the world, especially some masculine energies, not being in touch with themselves and looking up to the wrong things. I always talk to you guys about how I live in Southern Florida and these, a lot of the men down there, there's a lot of men just in society in general, I'm not just gonna say over there cause I'm seeing it everywhere, but they start to kind of look up to or even like idolize this lifestyle of like player-esque energy and that's their kind of epitome of I made it. And I think I, I laugh about this because when I lived down there, I, I, I didn't understand like these men or should I say boys that like, womanized so heavily but didn't really have their life together to even be doing that type of stuff and it was like they're kind of like skipping to the the finish line thinking that they made it because they can just like you know f over girls and it's just this like very to toxic you know masculine ideologies that if i have a lot of women i play a lot of women then i made it and i feel that maybe this is what this person was doing or some of you guys they may not have been like that but this person just has like a womanizing or trying to make people fall in love with them type of pattern you guys may not even know this about this person because when you came in they got got like, you know, and they may have not had bad intentions with you, but just because they didn't have bad intentions with you doesn't mean that they're not ingrained in bad patterns. So it's like, even if they met someone like you, they really liked, they're going to act out in ways that are not healthy for them because they never knew a healthy way of being. Does that make sense? Well, sometimes like I do empathize because some people just really don't know how to be healthy when they're surrounded by such toxicity and they're taught that that's normal. And even for me, just like moving around the country, and some of you guys live in different parts of the world and the, everybody lives very differently depending on towns and cities and, and also culturally. So it's quite interesting that I feel like maybe this person shocked you with their behavior, but that was behavior they've done to a lot of people, but that's the way they've always been. So when you guys came in and were just so different than anything else they've ever had or said things to them that were so different, maybe you guys lecture this person or maybe again, like you just met this person and it was such a brief thing and you're like, no, thank you. But this is a really interesting energy, but I definitely sense this person um, is really, into you guys and they want to be with you like they really want to be with you the two of cups queen of cups like you are to them like their dream person and i feel for some of you that you are not interested anymore because of whatever happened here but what i do want to say is that they're kind of meant to still be in love with you as karma for either what they've done to other people or have done to you very very interesting message 111 and i feel like only you guys not only you guys but my 111 piles in particular my people here on this channel you guys have the maturity to just be like okay yeah I can't handle this energy of this person being obsessed with me. Let me cut cords and keep it moving. Because I do feel like that's also part of the reason why you do get these players or these people that have such horrible karma to fall in love with you. It's because you guys are my divine feminines, my divine masculines. You know, for my masculines out there watching for feminines, this can also be a water sign. Females, I'm seeing Queen of Cups there. You guys have water placements. I do feel that this could go either way as well. Because there are, of course, women in this energy, men in this energy. Some of you guys are men who date men. So you could take what applies. But I just kind of apply things to like, experiences that I had so you guys can understand it a little bit but like I said you guys are my divine masculine or feminine or whatever you identify as and I feel as though you don't need the validation although you're still loving and sensitive so when someone does something hurtful to you I always say this it's not necessarily the validation that I wanted from them it's more like hey I thought you liked me so like why are you acting like this like and it kind of hurts me that they would try to hurt me and I feel like that was it like you were hurt this person was trying to hurt you like you figured out like are you trying to like hurt me or get under my skin I feel like they George George is also a Taurus too and he's mouthing up also George has a lot of uh, Gemini placements so this person can have Gemini placements or this person could have been a great talker um, or a terrible communicator, but like a great uh, flirt or something like that. I don't know, um, one, 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 but I do feel that there's definitely a lot of things this person wants to say to you. Um, let's see what else we have going on here. Page of Swords, yeah, another sign this person um, did not want you to cut them off, by the way. So whatever it is that happened here, this person generally thought that maybe you would come running to them or they would have uh, triggered you to swoop down at their level. Or like, like I said, some of you guys, this person just like was playing really hard to get after like talking to you a lot or after flirting with you or whatever but i just feel that whatever they did it didn't work and you made this person realize that like wow i'm really immature like that's really what i'm seeing here or i'm stupid i'm even hearing um because i just feel like you even think so lowly of this person now that you think it's unlikely that they would even have the capacity to reflect in this way which i kind of think is funny it's kind of savage um we got family here we got friendship and we got mature woman should be continue wow so this is crazy, but I do feel that this person really loves your guys' energy. Like they actually see you as someone they would love to like bring to their family. Like they've never felt this way before. Like I really feel like this person has some serious issues or serious family issues. And it's like they didn't even really, maybe they don't spend time with their family or maybe so this person still lives at home with their family, but you never met them. I don't know, something about family here. It's like they have a lot of family issues, but it's like, I, I feel like you guys could be very family oriented or very mature. And you make this person want to be more down to earth. 
more family oriented like and i feel like they're just not like that like they don't really have those ideals to like settle down like i definitely sense that this person could be a liar you know they could have told you that but i just feel with the friendship thing here this person kind of even thinks that you would probably wouldn't even want to be with them but in the least bit they really were like a friendship with you which i think is quite fascinating but I'm hearing, I'm surprised you called me after the things that I said. So I really feel that you guys may have said something to this person or this person said something to you that just seemed like, you know, this was done with, this was over with. Like for some of you guys, I actually feel as though this person may have prematurely told you, I'm not interested. I don't want to be with you. I don't like you like that. Boom. And you guys were like, okay, <laughs> fine. You kept it moving. And, um... Yeah, honestly, this person thought that maybe you were going to fight them on it or you were, and that was going to like prove to them that you like, I don't know, this person is full fledged toxic from one. So I don't blame you guys just being like, uh, unlikely I will ever want this person back in my life again. Thanks, but no thanks, Alice, you know, but there's something about your maturity that makes them feel like they need to grow. Like they never felt that way before. You know, you really humbled this person down. And maybe some of you guys who do have a sharp tongue and just know how to say what you need to say to somebody to get straight to the point. You impacted this person because they respect your maturity and honestly they respect your insight and your wisdom so something tells me when I, when I see I watch your pages the things that you guys are posting and doing right now currently they're still watching and learning from yeah one 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 and if you guys don't have pages or you don't have any online personas this is a sign that you guys probably should because if the words you say impact someone like this you could definitely impact a lot of people who actually want would want to listen to you Now this person didn't but it, it was something that they didn't even intend on doing like like I'm really getting for some of you like a storyline of somebody who's just like a player and they're like, oh, you're hot, da da da, and they start talking to you and you guys are flirting and all of a sudden they're having deep conversations. All of a sudden they're seeing the world differently. All of a sudden this and that, and then and then something happened here where they're like they're all choked up and they're feeling like, who the hell am I? Like this person got lost in your energy and and sabotaged this, and that's how I feel. And for some of you, maybe some of this energy was more in the other realms like you know you don't know this person very well and you guys it just happened so quick and fast where you met this person in and out and they did something or you said something to them but i just feel like with the page of swords here this person is stalking you guys this person wants to run into you if you're still local with this person uh they really want to see you again and i really think i'm just hearing i'm surprised you call me after things that i said so yeah i don't know who said what but i keep hearing that for you guys so something about you guys being really shocked when this message comes in Got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Wow, the Optimist in the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person's really optimistic about coming in and, and, and just like sending you this message and saying what they need to say. Wow, very, very, very interesting. Let's see what else we have going on here. I'll use some more of my um, digital deck. You guys can check that out in my shops, of course. You are amazing. See, this person's like your biggest fan, one, one, one. That's crazy because this person, like, like I was saying, like they probably are toxic, toxic masculine or a toxic woman. If for my women watching for women or men watching for women, men doesn't even matter. Like this person is toxic, but they really like what you put out there. You guys are the optimists. You guys are somebody that they couldn't break. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. This person is so toxic. This person tries to break people. I don't even think you guys have noticed this person was top tier toxic because of how strong you carry yourself because this person tries to break people and I don't even think maybe they didn't realize they do this but that's what they do this person tries to break people tries to get people to fall in love with them they this person um yeah and I think that what had happened was a reverso uno energy here <laughs> and they really like you guys they're like yeah, they love checking your stuff out. i'm too stupid to see your value yeah at the time this person was so stupid because that's what they feel now because they actually just like worship the ground you walk on wow very interesting let's see what else we have going on here i'm convinced you are my soulmate and honest to god some of you guys would like laugh at this because i always tell you guys you know you guys are my divinely orchestrated high dimensional guided light workers and healers your angels god whatever you believe would never hook you up it sets you up with someone like this for the rest of your life honest to god this person is still a little gassed in their ego because uh but i think there's a little bit of humbleness because they like actually want to be friends with you uh, they want you around you know i do feel that, i mean this person does have a lot of like attraction towards you so i don't know how long that would last but i do feel that yeah this is definitely somebody that that just wants to be back in your life and they don't care what extent, but I also feel as well that they're going to take a chance on this. Yep, for sure. I'm beginning to understand more about you. Yeah, I think after this falling out or this ending, this person really seek to understand what happened there because 
you guys are haunting this person in their dreams and their energy this person got serious karma and i do feel that honestly even if they did mess up things to you they've been worse to a lot of other people because they are very good at getting people stuck on them and chasing them and all these things so you guys just kind of like saw it for what it was worth and detached and the craziest thing is that like you're more genuine than a lot of people they've dealt with too so it's like they're just like hmm like you're just a different breed you're mature but you're still genuine like and they really like that about you do i have a real shot i'm afraid to admit how i feel i'm attracted to you physically didn't realize how much i liked you yeah classic case of this person coming in hot just being super attracted to you uh, super addicted to you just another case of all oh, you know i could come in and, and do what i want with this person da, 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 you know but reverse uno card some of you guys the switch up was fast like you only like hung around this person for a week or a couple of days or a few times like that's what i'm saying people cannot hang out in your energy field with bad intentions and some of you guys are even questioning why the universe and the angels are even like let you have someone like this in your life or some of you guys don't even realize this person and their nature because of the way you guys felt they were genuinely into you and they and they were genuinely into you but they're still genuinely not the best person you know um wow we got the two of cups again <laughs> okay they really 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 want to run into you guys some of you guys you guys did meet out drinking or through friends but we got two of cups two of cups so you guys put this person on a dating app because i'm just seeing that as well um i'm just seeing that you just there's just like some kind of like two and two here so it's like this person wants you all to themselves i'm seeing as well date night yeah two yeah see that this person wants to ask you out again and, and they probably will like try to hit you up to catch up and, and talk to you. And I definitely feel that in the least bit, they want friendship, but honest to God, I do feel they're gonna try, you know, more than that. So just watch out. This person still, you know, wants what they want. Soulmate, <laughs> ice queen. Yeah, you guys are so iced, fun times. Yeah, I feel like you guys honestly did not take this person that seriously. Or yeah, I'm hearing the heart to not break even on this one. Like, although you guys may feel like this person has hurt you, this person is suffering ever since whatever happened. So even if you felt hurt by this, or hurt by the situation, you probably recovered from it quick and fast while they're still suffering. So I'm hearing one year. Some of you guys that happened a year ago, or this person will will still be feeling this way. Like, yeah, or I'm hearing six months as well. Some of you guys just happened six months ago. Some of you guys happened a year ago, or six to twelve. I'm hearing six to twelve weeks ago for some of you. Um, or they'll be reaching out between three to six weeks. I'm hearing, but I'm just uh, some of you guys that you know this person's watching you. You see it, so you're like, it's only a matter of time before they send that message. But let's see what else. What's going on here i'm gonna need a little bit more details about this person then we'll move on lots of fantasies this person has this person does have a lot of options uh yeah this person has a lot of options because they have they have abilities like they have these abilities to get people to i don't think they realize that and it's crazy because when i see masculine energies have this power and i'm like oh my gosh you could be such a great person like you can use this energy so like to help people but some people don't realize that they're master manifestors and they use it to be manipulative and to you know charm people because i do feel some people who have a strong and maybe at first a genuine energy but they could have changed the course of this lifetime um really need intervention because they could be using this energy the wrong way because i'm just seeing they're like this person has many masks like we had a butterfly here we have a like you know i feel like this person could have presented something that wasn't the truth um but i do feel like you guys see right through this person um with the king of wands there yeah i feel like you guys saw this person for what they were and maybe you guys just wanted to have fun so i feel like they just kind of got got here um or you guys yeah yeah you definitely or this person yeah if this person walked away from you guys they were definitely trying to do like the bait and switch thing they were trying to like get you to chase and and like this person definitely even may have told you guys like i don't want anything i don't want a relationship blah, blah, blah. so you're just like okay i <laughs> bet you know i was like again i feel like you guys are hurt but you're not my type to like let people see you hurt you're not the type of chase like you guys are not the one you're my one 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 people you are my leaders my mature people even if something hurts your bruises your ego you're not gonna get down to that level and this person wanting you to get down on a level you will never get down on nah -uh. these are my kings and my queens here they never met an empress before and they got got yeah we got the page of cups and the knight of cups they're coming in guys some of you guys it is with an apology some of you guys it's just they're gonna ask you out this could be a leo sag or aries as well with these placements too because we see this king of wands there but we definitely got a player who does who did not get what they wanted out of this connection because some of you guys it's like you know if you hooked up with this person or this is a type of player because it's different types guys like they want what they want out of people but there's a certain type of player that wants people to fall in love with them and gravel like for them like just hooking up it just isn't enough like for some of you you're like okay you got what you wanted haha but like no, that's not what they wanted. They wanted you to be in love with them. They felt like you just hit and quit or something. Like if this person was playing games, they played the wrong card. They're like, this, this, this is my like, you know, my highest tier of the game. I don't know why it didn't work because you guys are, in, you're literally divinely guided. Like even when you don't know, you're moving with intuition. Like 
you intuitively you know the right moves to just have the last laugh. And yeah, we got the Empress there too. Cause some of you guys, it, it's a it's a power play and you know it, you know? Cause I do feel with certain connections, especially with me, like some people do mess up things to me and I will rip them a new A if I have an established connection and I care about them actually. But for some people like, I, it's so low what they do and I just don't even care enough and I see right through them that I actually just don't say anything and just pull back my energy it, it depends on the in individuals some of you guys you did that to them like it's like if they wanted you to, to react and go crazy you didn't and if they wanted you to um to chase you didn't you just pulled back your energy so that's kind of what I'm seeing here and you're the mother f and empress that's what I thought yeah because this person got some king energy you know they got something in them that that people like you know but you're the empress and I actually feel like this person liked you a lot more than you liked them. So even if you like this person a lot, surprise, surprise. Karma. Got the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, again, Taurus energy is strong in this person. The obsession is real. And you know what the craziest thing is? That also I feel this person got got by you because I actually feel they may have found out that you were playing them. Because we got two kings here. Like... Not gonna lie, this person may have found out that you had more op you had another option. <laughs> like somehow this person found out that maybe you just been reverse unoing them the whole time. I don't think it's gonna get your attention, but I think that, you know, there's a lot of like karma here that had happened quick and fast that you didn't see. But that's because you guys naturally just have like with this Knight of Wands protection, spiritual protection and the Wheel of Fortune's in reverse. It's like you're not gonna you're not things were never gonna turn this person's favor. Like they were you were put into their life too reverse the wheel backwards so they want to come in you know to be continued and it's not a matter if it's a matter of when and a win-win is the outcome there in this person's eyes if they can have you in their life they're winning so um i think that if this person can humble themselves down and apologize and have a friendship and start off there it'll be healthy for um their spiritual growth and for you guys to be like now don't be a bad boy anymore be good be nice to these women out here okay because i do feel like you guys probably are not interested anymore based upon the immaturity displayed here or you won't be after a certain amount of time yeah you got the four cups there this person is like hell-bent on you and you're hell-bent on absolutely not and i do think you guys are just kind of indifferent about them from the beginning it was more like their actions that got you guys double taking not that you didn't like them but you guys are just my emperor like you guys know how it is like you guys just like okay like let's just we're just chilling here it ain't that serious you know <laughs> now why do you have to go and be like that <laughs> that's what i'm seeing and yeah because yeah, I just feel like you guys are like, just like really chill people. You just like to vibe, like that's the vibe I'm picking up on justice here. Yeah, this person may have tried to get something out of you or a reaction out of you or your energy or you to give more to them than they were gonna give to you, but they got got because even if this person is a type to like love bomb and spend everything and, and then you just, then they pull back and like, all right, let's, let's watch this person obsess over me or they, they, they shower a lot of emotion and time and pull back or something you guys pull back too like you know you just you just match their energy like they try to do this bait and switch but it didn't work like it didn't work even if you guys felt like it worked because you hurt over it it didn't work in their eyes because it didn't give the effect and honestly you guys just lost respect for this person and they wanted your respect they wanted you to see them as big alpha dog because i do feel for some of you guys this person may have like thrown in your face other options or done something hurtful to you to try to show off that they were like this top tier because at the end of the day they always knew you were this empress and it's just crazy how disrespectful some people can be but again <laughs> this is not gonna give you guys much comfort but they've done worse things to other people <laughs> oh man just because they could so five of cups here this person is crying over you guys they're crying over this 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 stuff ending Karma, see guys, karma, judgment moment for this person. And I feel like some of you guys lit up a candle and said, make their, you know what, stop working this this person, you know, and it, it, you know what, it did what he needed to do. I'm just kidding guys. But I actually feel like, you know, that would probably is something that may have happened, happens to them now just because karma, karma. I don't really think that you guys are the type, but I really feel like, you know, there's some sort of, you know, sometimes you gotta fight darkness with darkness over here. <laughs> you heal me and I know it. Yeah, because honestly, I don't think that like you guys did anything to this person like that. But I feel that it, there's like an energy of this person maybe thinking you hexed them because of how bad they got it for you, you know? And I just think that like, nah, it's just your energy, you know? They've never met someone like you before. Queen of Cups, my mind's on other things. 
I'm threatened by your success. Yeah, this person just classic triggered by everything that you are because, you know, from far away, they're like, ooh, shiny, you know? But when they got up close, they're like, oh my God, this person is amazing, you know? And you wouldn't think their actions would reflect the way they're thinking and feeling. But again, that's why I'm so against perpetuating some of this toxic culture that we have here in dating and stuff. Wait to text back. Act like you have a lot of options. Da -da 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 -da, you know, because this is uh, don't don't show too much emotion. Girls like assholes. Blah 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 blah. Because you're queen of cups, and you you guys probably would end up better with a king of cups like energy. This is like metaphorical too. It doesn't matter what your sign is. You're you are someone who's so deep, emotional, caring, and nurturing. Despite what you have to be to survive, your core is kind and innocent and loving and nurturing and you need someone who's going to respect your sensitivities instead of trying to trigger them um you know and there's no reason to be jealous or insecure by what you guys have accomplished um because i even feel uh, your power i could sense it yeah i feel like you guys have been doing some crazy level ups in life too because instead of letting people get you down you guys are like all right you know let me just keep it pushing and pull back my energy from this wasn't what i thought it was and that's what i like to teach you guys because um at the end of the day you guys are in power and control and you have many people that are going to be very attracted to your energy in this lifetime. That's why I tell you guys, you got to keep it moving. We have a lot of free will. People have free will and this person could very well be a soulmate and they still are one and they're very much attached to your energy, but it doesn't mean you have to deal with anyone like this, uh, but you are an ego boost. That's what they wanted to get at though, because I reread our message in reverse because I do feel like the reason why you guys even attract this person in the first place is because you're popping. But I just don't think they've ever met anyone with your caliber because like I always tell you guys here, yeah, you're attractive and yeah, you have things going for you, but you're also intuitive, you're smart and you're divinely orchestrated and you got this high vibrational energy and you're a powerhouse. And they just never felt so inferior in their entire life coming in with this fuckery or should I say, I should probably block that out too. I've been cursing up a storm lately, coming up with this mess, I should say, but yeah. That's what I'm seeing, and I do feel that somebody wants a chance to reunite with you guys. I feel like they will come in with an apology or some sort of emotion that you're not expecting because I'm seeing a lot of cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, like something emotional. They want to express something emotional to you guys, and that that's going to be, you know... I'm really hearing like this one song, like, I don't want no frauds with... um. Nicki Minaj, because she was saying, like, this part where she said, me and, I don't know what she said, me and Tristy laugh at that. Like, I don't know why, but I see you guys, like, like, laughing at this message, like, honest to God with somebody else because of how, like, when you met this person and how much of a big dog they thought they were and how they're coming with you, coming at you with their tail between their legs and they're super optimistic that they're going to still have a shot here. And, and this just shows, like, because this person, honest to God, thinks that, like, their cup of relationship is the highest tier you know, of, of like what they could give to somebody. And you're like, I don't even like you anymore. And it's crazy because I was just like thinking about the concept of the fact that like as light workers, healers, high vibrational loving beings of the Lord, like we could just love people to death, but I, I, but we don't like them. Like I think about this all the time because I like talking to my angels. I'm like, wouldn't it be so nice to just like fall in love with somebody I actually like as a person? Like like I, I find out great things about them after the fact, not the opposite. Like I want to fall in love with someone I actually like as a person, not someone I have to make excuses for or oh, the enemy than that. No, they're actually just showing up like a normal, empathetic, kind person. And you guys do deserve that as well, one, one, one. But I think these things happen because you guys are karma for a lot of people. And I know you don't want to be that way, but I just think that you guys have the strength to handle these type of things because a lot of people get broken over situations like this especially if they're not working on their healing their growth they're not listening to alice you know you guys can also follow me on instagram queen alice love for updates on everything i have going on because i'd like to teach you guys let's get in the, the mind of these people they're not they're not okay i always have them men okay because like they're not okay like because like there are times like you know when this when these things start happening um to me and i would just like laugh at it because after a certain point because it's so obvious like at first, I really thought I was like, okay, am I crazy? Uh, but then after the fact, this person would come, these people always come back and with their tail between the legs because it's like, they'll try every single bad trick under the book to get your attention. Just be normal. Can you just come at me normal? Can we just be friends? Like, no, because they're not, their ego is not getting gassed the way they wanted it to in this connection. And again, you guys may have liked this person and got yourself done and hurt. But what I want to say is that you're not ego gassers. You're genuine with your feelings. So it's like this person came in love bombing you and didn't give them the validation. It's because you didn't grow a real connection with them. Like, I don't even know you. I read about this in Psychology 101, you know, but I do feel that, yeah, fixed. This person is fixed on this vision of you and them. And honestly, some of you guys will laugh your ass off. 
when this person comes in. I'm not even joking. I see some of you guys laughing because um, who do you need to release? Yeah, what do you need to release? Yeah, this person needs to release the idea that they, I don't know. Some of you guys like, like this person, but I think that you don't, honestly, I don't even think you even saw them this way. I just think you consider this person a friend and I, I feel that what they did was like lower than a friendship. You know, like, would you do this to your own friend? Cause that, that's the thing. And that's why, like, I cannot imagine, like, the shock you guys are going to feel when this comes in. Because some of you guys are going to, this is something you don't expect. Like, you just don't expect it just because of how ridiculous this person acted. We have the four swords there. Yep. And then we have the chariot. Yeah, like, you guys are, like for swordsing this energy like blocking it out not even paying attention to it or they're charioting towards you so we got two totally different vibes here because we got the sun here and again that's why you guys are high vibrational light workers so it's just bound to happen uh so that's what i see for you guys i really do hope that you guys like that message i find it quite amusing and yeah enjoy your uh day night evening you know what let's do some initials i'm seeing an m here i'm seeing a j i'm seeing an a an e a d an r an a I'm seeing Ethan, Tommy, hmm, Michael, I'm hearing, Darren. Yeah, I'm also hearing as well, some of you guys, uh, this person, you guys are not even, like, you're not intimate with this person, they just said something or did something really messed up to you, but they, like, literally see you, like, some of you guys, it's just, like, a, a friendship that somebody, like, said something messed up to you or a relationship a lot of you guys it's like somebody of the opposite gender and part of the reason why they were mean to you is maybe because you rejected them too so i feel some of you guys just because this person a friend and you rejected them and that's why they started saying and doing these things but you don't really realize that these people even feel rejected by you guys um i think that you just are so detached from these ego based thinking people that you really don't really understand why but but it's like the switch between this person like acting a fool and literally looking up to you and, and actually telling people like like openly like this person is like i look i watched their stuff their pages and it really has been helping my life like you 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 definitely humbled this person down but they still kind of see like if this was just a friendship they still see a chance at like friendship so you guys it was a friendship too uh they want what they want whatever you guys had back so whatever it is you guys had but for a lot of you guys i do feel they want to express emotions and feelings towards you yeah yeah, like if this, if a lot of you guys is like a situation ship I'm really picking up on, or this person you guys never really got with, but they thought it was one. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is a situation, ship, but now they want commitment. So uh, it's like somebody you may have wanted commitment from from the past, but you don't want it anymore. Like that's just the main thing here, or an ex for some of you guys as well, if that resonates. Uh, it's ridiculous because some of you guys, they really have done so many things that you were like, huh? You're still on this? Like this was so long ago. But I'm telling you guys, you're into healing and growth. When I tell you how many energies stay stuck on somebody i don't want to say men but you guys know i used to bartend even before youtube and stuff and i would listen to these people talk at the bar you know especially these older men and they always had this like one person that like they messed up so badly whether it was their ex-wife or a girlfriend and they, and they talk about these things 30 years 40 years later down the line staying stuck and sometimes i don't even think that it's like oh the one that got away i think it's just lack of healing and lack of experiencing rejection or hurt or even that one person that held them accountable or walked away. And that's why I always think it's important for, you know, my ladies and my men out there too, but my ladies to, to walk away, my feminine energies, walk away, man. That's the most powerful thing you can do when you did that, regardless of if they wanted you to chase when they walked away or you guys just said, nah, -uh, I'm good. I don't deal with this stuff. And they floored them. They're like, but I gave you my best of my best. Well, then you're like, well, that, ain't, that, that says more about you than this is about me. Anyway, guys, I do hope that you guys like this message. Bye, guys. Okay, two, two, two. Let's hop right into the reading and find out who is in your energy field right now. Who are you feeling? Who is coming in hot? Guys, I automatically heard music before I even started this reading. So I wanted to share that with you before I lost it. I heard two songs coming in. I heard one song with like Beyonce. He got a big ego. It's too much. He walked like this. He could back it up. And that's how the emperor there. So I said, okay, we're dealing with somebody who is really quite uh, proud of themselves. They're just very like confident and I feel like you guys may be the same way or they feel that way definitely feeling Leo regardless of what astrology signs I pull after this definitely feeling some Leo-esque energy here or even Aries even Taurus I feel this person definitely has a big ego too 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 and that is coming in strong and probably has something to do with the fact that they are up in your energy right now because they really do still like you guys but I think their ego is also very intertwined with whatever is going on here you may have bruised this person's ego or something like that, but let's see what else is going on here. I'm also hearing another song. 
every time my boyfriend and I break up, my world is crushed, I'm all alone, I'm hearing, um, Fergie, uh, what's the song? I forget the name of it, but, um, she says, um, the love bug bites me and I'm back. Yeah, so I feel too, 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 that it's just kind of like, I feel a little bit of one, one, one. Don't watch it unless you feel, you know, drawn towards it, because that pile is a little bit of a woozy, but I feel that with this pile, it's like, you definitely like bruise this person's ego, and this is the type of person that I feel like you guys are coming across more of the player towards because I'm feeling like you guys are more like Fergie in this dynamic when she's like, every time my boyfriend and I break up, the love bug bites me and I'm back. <laughs> like, I feel like that's you guys. Like, I'm back again. Like, again, this person wanted you all to themselves or they just saw you as endgame and maybe you guys are not in the settling down energy or something happened here that bruised this person's ego and caused them to pull back. Like, that's what I'm picking up on. Let's get the rest of the picture here because I was just channeling that. I did not want to lose it. And I feel that, yep, yeah, five of wands. We got somebody who's not used to competing and you guys make this person compete or they feel like you're making them compete with other people and they have never experienced that like i'm not gonna lie to you guys you got someone here who's got it like that or at least they feel they do and of course that is half of the confidence that a lot of people possess especially when you are genuinely proud of things and talents you really do have and i think this person does have that or accomplishments i think this person does have some of it wrapped up and healthy it's not like narcissism i actually feel like they do have great things going for them or they are genuinely good looking and have a great vibe or whatever and they have a naturally very confident way of being so maybe they aren't even that egotistical but something you did bruise their ego in a way they've never experienced and i think sometimes it's the people that usually get what they want that end up being the most bruised because they're just not used to any type of perceived i want to say rejection because with the seven of swords here um i do feel that this person may have found out about something and you guys don't know about it or something like that uh because i feel that you are coming into this person's life as spiritual growth what did i say guys i have not looked at these cards but look at this we have the dating queen over here with a ton of options yeah <laughs> they can get it but they've never met anyone that can get it quite like you guys can i always say my people who watch this channel you guys are my light workers and my healers who attract people like a moth to a flame and i feel like you guys have a natural confidence about you that also gets people interested in you yeah and i feel like this person found out that you are highly 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 sought after to do too. probably after you had an encounter with them of some kind it doesn't have to be like an 18 plus one but i feel like someone's ego got bruised that literally you have people pining and fighting over you and they've never seen anything like it and they're like oh well usually i have people pining and fighting over me like what gives you know and i see about the world judgment like this person is like who is this person i'm also hearing who's that chick who's that chick yeah i feel to do too that this person um is still very much into you but uh toxic we got toxic here and free will yeah i feel like this person um definitely chose to act toxic after finding something out about you guys and you may not know about this it could be a lie it could be a rumor but i feel with the four of pentacles here yeah i'm just hearing a lot of you know possessiveness and jealousy without the right because again we have the four of pentacles here where this person is usually getting what they want and they may have a possessive and jealous nature to them but obviously it's going to get triggered if they find out something that's going to make them even more possessive and jealous so um i do feel with the five of wands here with the seven of swords the four of pentacles the five of pentacles something made this person feel like you are not revolving your world around them god forbid you know but hey you know i i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have a bit of a, a, a ego myself you know like i have high standards when it comes to dating so I feel like in this person's shoes, you might be like, oh my gosh, how toxic, but hear me out. Like, I feel like you guys and this person had some sort of date or were getting to know each other and they generally thought that like, not that they got like, they got you like that, but oh my God, we got the four of pentacles again. They're just very possessive and, and jealous. And uh, yeah, we got the me head here. Yeah. And I just feel like they must've got, came face to face with somebody else who also wants you. Like, that's what I really feel like it. I encounter with this person that was like face to face or something that they could not unsee, you know? So I'm also hearing, I don't want to know that babe, uh, that Ed Sheeran song where he's like caught like the girl that he liked with a friend or something like that. Like, I don't want to know that babe. It's like, they've never like, you know, I just feel like also the type of person that if they are having something fun with somebody, usually that person will catch feelings or, you know, but they've never met anyone with quite this siren ass energy that you guys have. And I feel that, this person in their mind, they read whatever it is that they saw or heard or experienced as you guys being toxic. But in reality, they're looking back at it and they're like, I didn't have a right, you know? But hear me out. I also feel like maybe if you guys would have saw this with this person, 
maybe it is the other way around if that resonates for some of you like you're the one who cut this person off because you heard something or saw something that they were doing or talking to someone else even if you guys weren't together because i know some of you guys uh have a possessive jealous nature too and you know what guys i mean you know, i'm also guilty of this I, my mars is in leo and i don't want to hear or know about anybody else your world should revolve around me. Yes, right. There's only one Queen Alice now. I'm playing around. But it's good to have standards, right? But sometimes it's like the battle that goes. And I feel like this is what's going on between you and somebody. Because either they have the options, you have the options. And I think that instead of just like, hey, I'm feeling jealous. Like, no, they're not going to say that, right? So I feel like they may have flashed their options, you flash wars. I'm not. I don't like you. Neither do I. You know, like, I just feel like the stubbornness is coming through here. Uh, but it, I definitely feel for this pile. You're being told this because you don't really know this person feels this way right now but they're they are up in your energy they still really like you uh but they're just mad that they couldn't have you like the way they wanted to have you or they didn't they couldn't have you by the you know that that you're just having you're dating around two 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 they heard you're dating around okay are you dating around you might be or at the time or you may have guy friends or who cares you know if they wanted it they, if you like it you should put a ring on it okay that's what i'm hearing got travel and opening up yeah yeah, because I feel that. Also, two, 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 I pick up this energy a lot when it comes to these readings that when you are traveling and when you're doing things or enjoying your life, when you're out a lot, sometimes in my experience, because I date masculine energies, right? They are triggered by that because it's like, oh, you you actually just, we just met and you were going on a trip now? Like, you're not, you don't want to lay up with me? Like, you know, or we just hooked up and you, you got to go to a meeting? Like, you know, like something like that. They're like, hey, like, don't you want to spend time with me? You know, but I feel with the opening up thing, it's like this person didn't even really open up about maybe wanting to come with you on the trips or, or wanting to hang out with you and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing gift. Yeah, you guys are very gifted at, Oh, there's another thing I'm seeing here as well. Just, you know, there's a, there's a combination of things that went and triggered this person, guys. Come on, I'm just going to say because you have options. Because, of course, if they went for you, they already knew that you had options. They already knew you looked good. They wanted you. Obviously, it's obvious you guys got options. Come on. Look at you. You guys can follow me on Queen Alice Love. Because uh, I always say that I'm on private right now. I got to accept you guys. And a lot of you guys, are, uh, you know, I got to make sure you're real people. I'm not saying I'm checking you out. But I like to joke around and be like, yeah, I'm checking you guys out. You guys look good. But anyway, um. They can see, you know, your page, your profile, like you're, you're looking good. You're posting yourself, da, da, da. or if you guys in real life too, doesn't matter. Or at work, wherever you guys meet this person, whatever. But I feel that you also have a gift of making people open up to you. So I feel that this person also opened up to you very fast. And then uh, they felt this like, okay, yeah, maybe we're going to be together. And then they heard something that like really hurt them. It's like a combination of them opening up to you about things that like they never tell anybody. And then on top of it, you guys just went on a date with someone else just after that, you know, or you guys were out with someone else or, or, you know, you're seeing someone else too, or, or you got a text on your phone after we just had this conversation. I don't know. This person peeped, heard, saw something that hurt them or, or I should say invoked jealousy. Cause I don't think it's like hurt. Cause we're seeing the possessiveness here. We're seeing the four of pentacles, like mm, that's mine. You know, we're seeing more of this possessive, like, but also it's, a, it's, it is maybe hurtful to this person because they don't open up like look at their nature like maybe they do kind of like gravitate people towards them and they never really open up to people and i don't know i just feel like this person they, they're they're feeling very stubborn there's, there's a lot of ego here um we got making music here as well this person could be into music or you guys could have a music connection like this person really felt like you guys had this like super special connection and you guys said or did something or they heard something or saw something that made them think that you guys actually didn't like them or you were playing them or they're like they were just they're just they're actually hurt and they're mad and uh this person um felt like i don't know I'm actually seeing like, you know, after the first date, this person or you guys hanging out or whatever you guys did or met, they're picking flowers. This is the one. Da, da, da. I'm going to get this person a gift. I really let. And then ring, ring, ring. Oh, you're out with pile number 222. Two, two. Well, I saw them out with this. Per what? You know, but again, 222 two. could also be lies, rumors, gossip. Yeah. If you guys check out my like, I think it was pile number one, one, one in my who was admiring reading. It was like the, the last two readings ago. There's something in the industry, like sometimes people will like, because if this person really liked you and they're excited about it, sometimes people around them will get triggered. Or you guys have an ex or another person. If you guys live in a local environment where people talk, I can't even imagine how much people gossip. And I move around and I still find out things about myself that like from years ago that someone told somebody, sometimes it's not even true. Like somebody had told an ex of mine that like I had 
uh, a situation with somebody, but we were actually just friends and hanging out. So it's like, you guys could very much how I'll be innocent or you could be dating around, but who cares? I didn't, they, you know, you guys would just keep your options open, but whatever. But I feel like this really hurt this person. And I feel that they're definitely like praying to the universe, God, whatever they believe, like, I thought this was the one, you know, what happened here? But I think it's silly because I just feel this person is a bit, it's all stemming from their ego. Like, I think if they do, would just have a conversation with you, instead of being stubborn, they will find out it's a lie or that's just a friend of yours or, or, oh, you wanted to come? Why didn't you say something? Oh, you wanted to date me? I didn't know, you know? There's just something about this person just like, kind of like being emotionally triggered, maybe by like issues in their past or something that, that kind of like came up. Because they have to now admit that they're being toxic and then come towards you. And I think that's why there's some stalling here. Yeah, we got Gemini, Pisces, meditate and contemplate. The answers you need are coming. A time for healing. Communication is key. Balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah, I do feel that this person may have Pisces or Gemini in their chart. And, um, or you guys do as well. And again, you guys can be ruled by Neptune or they can have Neptune. Like, I feel there's an energy here, this person projecting a little bit of you guys having this healer energy and how you made them feel and them thinking that, you know, them running with it in their mind before they communicated. So think about this person running with something in their mind and they're, they're running with their feelings before they could communicate. And it's like their emotions went zero to a hundred and they just like, they, they wouldn't done and got themselves hurt. And you guys wouldn't even know this because you might think you're hurt by this, you know? I feel like you guys may think that this person done something to you. You're like, um, what happened to so-and-so? I thought we had a great date, you know, or I thought we were hanging out. What happened? <laughs> you know, and they're like, also, this person has a hard time opening up. They're like, oh, yeah, I told you about my, my blah, blah, blah. And then you went and did this, you know, I don't know. My dog passing away when I was, I don't know, whatever, you know, I kind of see this person just being kind of like that. You may not know it, but I just think it's a Leo energy here. I don't know why, but, you know, you know, one song, like, um, that, what's it called? scars the scars remind us that the past is real. like you know that one it's like really dramatic like the i think it's like papa roach but like the singers like, like a leo stellium the song is so dramatic like you know i love that song by the way guys it's definitely like a song light workers can, can relate to but i feel like this was like that like like the scars remind me the past is real. like i don't know why but i just just feel like super super dramatic like I, I opened up my heart to this person and how could you do this to me it's like it's like funny because some of you guys like i laugh about this because like you someone could very well it's not this person i'm just saying for example like cheat on you right you've been dealing you've dealt with people doing the worst the worst to you but this person finds out that like you just met them and you're not loyal to them the day one you know something like that it's like come on slow down there buddy relax you know <laughs> we got the eight of wands there and i think that that's kind of it they're like wait a minute why am i acting like this i need to grow up like this person's giving themselves a reality check because they got they got the you know they got a good side to them they just honestly uh, i you know a little dramatic person i you you got a passionate person here and yeah, if they're an artist or, or, or creative soul, or this person definitely is into creative fields, or if you guys are, yeah. I also feel as well, this is the type of person that like, I, I heard about this and they like don't like, even if you guys, okay, this is crazy too. If you guys open up to this person about an ex that hurt you in the past or something like that, like they get jealous over that. Like they get jealous over your past too. So you may have told this person about something in your past that they got mad about. like. It's crazy because like, this is how extreme this person's jealousy got triggered. And again, it's not really because of you guys being a floozy or whatever, you know, that's not really what it is. They're not seeing in that way. It's almost like they could see that you have this ability to attract people to you because you may just be being like, you know, oh, you know, this, 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 or you may be out a lot of eyes looking at you or you know a lot of people or something like, and they could just see that like you have history, you know, where you have, had experiences outside of the ones that you had with them. And it's crazy because I just feel like you guys are just starting to open up or get to know this person or something like that. Um, yeah, or some of you guys could be like someone from the past or an ex relates to, right? Especially the signs kind of ring a bell, but I feel like some the conversations and things that, that happened in the beginning of the relationship still affected their ego. Like if they found out in the beginning you were talking to someone else in them and they, you know, they got jealous over that or um, you know, if you guys, went on a break and or you guys just ended something before you met them they'll think that they thought they got hurt it felt like a rebound like maybe they found out you just ended something 
and they, they felt like a rebound and hurt you know they're like oh i thought we were opening up but maybe they were just unloading their emotions on me because you know this person just needs to communicate with you guys maybe it's true for some of you maybe you were just dumping on them after a breakup oh well you know i'm just kidding guys i'm kidding but i feel that uh this person actually has some healing energy to them when they're not being toxic i think that you like this person enough but you didn't, they didn't give enough time to really cultivate and if they hold on to things they're never going to really know but i think that the moon in reverse like this person just like ran with marriage in their mind with you you know they went to fantasy land and you guys were just taking the first step here um they're just really excited about meeting you i get that and uh we got an emperor energy here they didn't want to leave your life though so if they pulled back some of you guys they pulled back from a while because it took them a while to recover from this and i do laugh at this guys because this is something that has happened to me where i have had situations where somebody found out something they didn't like and it's like that i'm like okay like but it's like it's still coming up in conversation and i'm like why don't you just get over it you know like i've forgiven people for a lot worse but you know what if that is the epitome of the worst thing that ever happened to this person it's just in scale like i guess you guys might think it's stupid like but for them this never happened to them so it's the first time i i you know i had something here and and i think that for some of you guys this may be a reverse message that that you guys may have kind of got mad at someone or cut someone off by finding out something that maybe this person feels like they need to explain themselves. Like maybe this is a reverse message. Like you found out, but you guys were not in a commitment or blah, 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 so you need to communicate. You know, it could go either way for some of you, like if that resonates, because somebody wants to come in because they actually saw something with you and maybe like they were just like chilling, you know, and didn't know that like they were just playing it cool, you know, getting to know you and you kind of ran with it and, and, and assume the worst too. It could go either way, but I, the, the message is the same that, you know, possessiveness and not communicating and jealousy messed up this whole thing and possibly other parties or um five of wands com conflict regarding jealousy and possessiveness we got king of cups here yeah the high yeah this person definitely uh, like with honestly this person with the king of cups and to them like they may feel like they have like stare they they visualized or they like see you as someone that they're going to be with and marry but like at the same time they found out something that ruined that fantasy you know for them again we got the six of wands there um or some of you guys you didn't really do anything but it's just the fact that like you know you got you have six of wands they put okay this is this person has a problem with idealism like i don't think you guys did anything wrong here they just idealized you and, and that's the thing guys whenever i have relationships now but people start off with the love oh my god you're the best thing ever i'm so excited i'm like calm down calm down and it this is a this is a pisces energy uh tendency no offense to my Pisces out there believe me i'm, I'm february 17th like i'm, I'm getting there with ten thousand pisces i like pisces men too they're probably my favorite to date you know i'm not gonna lie they need some earth placements in there though but um yeah i like i like pisces men but there's some pisces or some if it's not that then it's just like neptune energy and just you, you guys have pisces like something about someone just running with this like idea that things are going to go a certain way or things have to go a certain way to be in a relationship or to have to meet my wife you know or to be my husband like it has to go like this and some of you guys it, it, it's actually a sign that maybe you need a little humbling like if you cut someone off and maybe this person did, did something that you could, could discuss with them or you assume something you know so i feel like i can go either way but with the moon in reverse because i do feel that it's like there was something that was heard or seen on either your end. So you would know if it's you, but if that didn't happen and it, res it resonates for the main message, then on their end that they didn't even communicate and they just started acting up and, and they should have just talked to you about it. Well, this person definitely felt like they dedicated time and energy to you and da da da, da you know? And some of you guys are like, it was two weeks. Why am I here for two weeks ago? You know? So that's why I think it's funny, you know? Or you don't even know me, but Six of Cups, they're coming back, guys. They're coming back. Seven of Swords again, jeez. Yeah, this person, King of Wands. Guys, this person really thinks you were sneaking around with someone else, okay? Or somebody was, somebody might have to come in there and lie to this person. If you, yeah, somebody, somebody came in there and messed your old shit up, didn't they? Yeah, because I see the Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, yeah, hmm. Or you think this person was, was, was a, a King of Wands and a Seven of Swords when really they're a King of Cups with a Two of Pentacles. Like, they could have just, like, been like you know i can see the other direction this person was out picking flowers thinking about you and you're running up like da, 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 da. 
who what bitch are you with you know like you guys could be a little crazy too you know i could feel like oh well, either way this person may feel like they were doing nothing wrong mind our own dang business and you went out crazy on them you know but i do feel like uh some of you guys it, it this is like you you have someone here that you feel you start acting up and it's i think you have something else or something someone else or somebody that came in there and said she's mine you know i don't know i just feel like some of you this is some drama that needs to be talked about here because i feel like there's some seven of swords seven of swords something is needs to just be talked about the high priestess yeah your intuition is picking up on you so i feel like you guys intuitively feel like something happened here and yeah we got the uh queen of pentacles here and three of swords yeah hmm Yeah, and for some of you guys too, like it could have been uh, like another person lying, you know, a, a feminine or a masculine lying because they were jealous of this person liking you or someone lied to you guys. Someone might have lied to you guys about this person. And that is also, yeah, that's also the case. So someone may lie to you about this person that made you not trust that person. But I just feel like there's going to be a competition high because this person really does like you. Okay. We got the strength card here. This is definitely some Mercury retrograde energy. So maybe some of you guys are talking to someone right now and you may have a little bit of mishap. For some of you, that might resonate. Um, but I do feel the strength card. We got more Leo energy here. Okay. This person is a, a big old teddy bear on the inside. Just a little bit of ego, a little bit of pride here. We got the magician here and they're manifesting you guys. Or they're, they're trying to manifest this to, to come back into balance because um, they like you guys. So... I just feel like, you know, someone said something to them, they need to talk about it. They saw something they didn't like, they need to talk about it. Um, if somebody lied to you guys, they want to clear it up. Um, they feel judged or you guys feel judged. Um, but there's just some pride here. I'm taking my time. Yeah, some of you guys, especially were just taking your time and you assume the worst. Or you guys were just, you guys just like to take your time with relationships. Like maybe you didn't want to date this person right away. You want to start off as friends. Guys, I don't know how many times I've told, like, masculine energies, like, hey, I like to start off as friends. They think it's a rejection. I'm like, no, I just want to get to know you as a human being before you start putting the mask on. People just tend to do that when they're dating, present their best face forward, you know? I trust you. Yeah, I think it's kind of what it is. This person thinking back, they're like, no, I trust this person. I don't know why I believe that. Why I even listen to that. Now I got to come back from this. Or, or you know, um, yeah. I cried over you. Yeah, so, <laughs> somebody found out something. I don't know. I'm just laughing at this person. I'm sorry. I'm, that's so mean to do too. But I think that this is funny because this person just just like is like got it bad. And I just think that they could have solved this. They created so much more drama by not communicating. Of course, I still love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? I'm checking over something you said. Yeah, some of you guys, this person, like, overthought something that you said. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, I got to go do this. And they really thought you were not. I don't know. They're just assuming the worst, man. Yeah. I'm coming back soon. I try to trigger your reactions and I need you. Yeah. I definitely feel as though, um, <laughs> for some of you guys, too, as well, like, this person could have just, like, try to like make a little joke and it went terribly wrong and they got hurt over it um but this the message is like i worry about you overall this person is a sweet soul guys like this is the funniest thing because i worry about you and honestly guys sometimes i do feel as though because i had so many experiences like the world has made me so hard and dealt with so much effed upness from people sort of number one but it's like sometimes i don't believe that someone is just genuine because it's like especially in masculine energies Sorry, guys. Sorry, boys. You're watching. You guys are handsome. You're great. I love you guys to death. But, you know, man, just put me through the ringer, okay? And I feel as though I have to see the realities just so I can be able to process different types of people for my learning, my growth. But there are times and there are men that I have dated that genuinely don't like to sleep around, really think if they hook up with you, you're, they want to be together. They want to have a low body count. They really value themselves in that way. They hold themselves to a high regard and good for them. But, you know just because you guys didn't want to like the you guys uh, idea to not align the same way that their idea or you guys could have just miscommunicated they are like oh my god this you know like they just are dramatic you know and that's pretty much it like this person just has a very clear-cut way of what they want the relationship to go like so they get hurt by things easily that you may say or do because again you guys know if you had any experiences with exes that were either cheating lying the worst of the worst the devil energy times a hundred even if it was brief those experiences definitely scar you and i don't think this person has had those type of experiences so i think that you guys are just always like 
making sure that you're not you know over investing in the wrong person because you've gone and got yourself hurt so you just like to start slow take your time i honestly feel as though you guys were just doing that with somebody and they really did assume because they don't have a healthy outlook on relationships they don't they have a very idealistic idea of that's that i think it, it's due to lack of experience so i guess this person only had like not a lot of relationships or like only one long-term relationship and then they like to stay alone so when they really like somebody they like want to go all the way in so it's just that like yeah you guys could have gotten to one little disagreement or, or misalignment here and it turned into a big thing because of uh, this person just getting so um shocked and hurt um and it can go either way guys take what resonates but it, it does stem from the fact that this person really really just wanted the, the commitment and the and they were very jealous and and honestly it's not like you know you guys did anything wrong here uh we got children in pa yeah this person just kind of childish when they catch feelings like i want what i want and that's mine <laughs> you know you are the one I want to end up with. That's great, but we need to kind of go slow and work on it. I don't expect me to drop everything for you. And that's the thing, too, too, too. This is what happened here. Um, some of you guys just got triggered you went on a trip without them, or they got mad that you went out without them, or they got upset that you didn't tell them um, that you're talking to somebody else at first, or they found out that you were out on a date with somebody, or some of you guys did nothing wrong at all, and this person just assumed the worst. But one thing's for sure, there's a connection here where you guys really thought you were getting along with this person opening up, and they just kind of ghosted or sabotaged and um yeah this person's gonna go through spiritual growth because they need to grow up and realize that this is not how adults act or communicate um you know and it's like this person has the emperor in them and it's also my sign that this person really like wants to stay in your life long term but this person honestly um yeah this is somebody that you guys like probably asked your angels about because you're like what gives with this person i thought that we were going i thought things were going well like what happened you know but uh yeah this person just like they felt like you're toxic sorry two 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 and you know what i'm gonna be self-aware guys because you know your girl alice i always like do, okay there's the things like i feel like may happen to me because i'm up here on youtube i'm like laughing around guys yo i got three planets in my seventh house guys your girl alice just ran through i have a lot of karma like i can have a guy watching this that likes me and like just like cry himself to sleep after listening to that and i'm very well joking with you guys you know but also yeah if, if i've had a lot of experiences doesn't necessarily mean that i'm getting with all those people or whatever or i'm exaggerating or i'm being like you know what's the word just like entertaining for the sake of the video not that like i'm not that i lied you guys but it's like i'm telling you guys certain things because i'm close to you guys my besties so you know but I, i'm joking about it because it's like you guys may you know tell told something to your friend he 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 you know i'm just playing i'm having fun like you might just be in playing it cool because you don't want people knowing you like this person but this person may have told that person like you know what i mean like i just feel sometimes that we could play off that we're one way just 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 but you're not always that way and um yeah i think about that too because like i say in my videos i always joke around with like that type of stuff and i think about oh my gosh i'm sure there has been people that listen to that and they're like oh my god you know <laughs> she's for the streets i gotta go i gotta run but uh in all reality you guys also know that I, i'm very open about the fact of me as capricorn like i'm very loyal you know i'm ve it's very hard to get to know me i i keep a lot of things surface value but i also have a lot of um experiences in my life just because i am out and about a lot like to meet people i talk to people and just kind of see how things vibe out but um a lot of my experiences i references to are from like a while ago or even before youtube um but yeah you know what i have to date somebody that understands that you know i'm gonna have a lot of karmics and a lot of relationships but if you want that number one spot just know i am loyal and i'm looking for the right person and just know that um oh my god i have a little disclaimer now because i was just thinking about that two 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 the point i'm trying to say is that like this person is probably going through that same emotion because I'm like thinking about this. I'm thinking about the fact you guys may joke around like I do, like just be funny, like yeah, you know, I'm for the streets, man. You're like, this person's like, oh my god, you know, like, but they're just like, I think there's an innocence to this person because um, they really felt like you were gonna like, you know, you and them were gonna be. I really thought we were gonna be together. You guys could be like, ha, um, maybe, you know, we'll see how things go. And they're like, oh, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get heartbroken. You broke my heart. Like somebody really thinks that you're gonna break their heart or you want to play them uh, too, 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 and. It goes on both ends, just like I was trying to give my life an example. I've been feeling like people have hurt me in my past and done the unspeakable. And I'm sure there are people there are people out there that talk about me that I've done the unspeakable to them. You know, just like one of my, you know, exes that I had hooked up with someone when we were not talking, you know, for a certain amount of time. And I thought I did the right thing by telling him the truth. And uh, you know what? 
some things are just better left unsaid. But you know, um, anyway, two, two, two. Um, what I do feel is that, yeah. Like this person just heard something, saw something, maybe you posted something like that they just thought, oh my God, they're playing me, you know, and you could just be funny. And that's why I do sometimes am learning to be careful about my jokes or things I even say in my videos or my content, because it's like, I really think that, okay, what I want the guy that I'm dating posting like you and Fort Street team boys, you know, no, you know, so I, I'm laughing about it now. But anyway, um, two, 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 this is what I see for you guys. Like this is someone here that really just kind of like assume that you were hurting them or playing them and they want to come in and come back into your life and they are going to and I do feel that this person um this needs to let go of whatever it is that hurt their feelings um and I really genuinely think that it comes it just comes with the fact that yeah uh, this is what I was trying to say guys because I was relating to myself and I'm like why are we talking about me now angels like why do you want me to talk about me oh because they want to say like you guys as the light workers and healers you have a very helpful energy you have a you have a very um high vibrational energy and not every masculine or feminine energy that comes into your life are people that you're dating and people will assume that you're in love with them or that you like them because they feel the same way so maybe some of you guys were not quite there with this person but you're a helpful person and a healer and you like to have a lot of people in your life to get to know and learn from because your destiny is probably to help a lot of people so that's what I'm trying to say too because I try to explain this to some now I realize some of these people are just narcissistic and they didn't want to learn but some people will understand like you just have this energy that attracts people to you and just because you walk into a room and everyone's looking at you doesn't mean that you had history with all those people and just because people are spreading rumors and gossip about you doesn't mean that all of it's true and I feel like you guys have that energy where people are always talking and looking at you wanting to be around you and this person just just like they are used to being that person you know but you definitely outshine them in that way because you got a lot of people fighting over you guys behind the scenes okay that's what your angels are saying and a lot of people are talking okay and I, I just think it comes from the fact that a lot of people want you all to themselves you guys may also have placements that attract like you know very possessive lovers i had that too so it's like oh boy here we go but um yeah that, that, that's what i'm seeing and uh that's why i like to explain that to to people that uh just because my ex are still calling me doesn't mean i'm still engaging with them it's just some happens with people when you are have this healing energy people get addicted to it guys i still have block calls and i don't even know where they're coming from and i don't gonna answer them because sometimes when you answer them that even adds to it more so it's like it could be from people from years ago like people just are hanging on to your energy like this man but anyway uh, two, 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 i didn't mean to go all crazy on this on this reading but i wanted to kind of like go in deep about this because some of you guys are like oh, i didn't do anything but that's the thing either way i'm not telling you guys to like dim who you are or not make your jokes because at the end of the day people who want to get to know you and your true nature will know that just like my example of my videos when i joke i say i've ran through i do them on purpose because it's kind of like a, a thing that i feel like a, like a feminist thing almost because men always want to like disrespect women that like that like have history or like to go out and enjoy their life or know a lot of people and so i make that joke just because it's a way to like reclaim power when you laugh about certain things or certain perspectives that people have i don't know if you guys like kind of got that when i do that but yeah anyway um it's not in no way is it like a like a brag or anything like that <laughs> oh my gosh yeah but it's like because it's funny because men could do that you know but when women do it it's like streets for her but yeah, that's the thing to do too. Uh, somebody tells you this person is like, with the seven of swords there, it's like, they're not even that innocent themselves. They're just mad that you got it like that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel that what they heard is like someone else likes you or someone else is still in love with you or this person wants you back or stay away from this person. I like them too, someone said to them. Like, it's like, oh, like, oh, like they're automatically thinking you're doing things to get this energy on you, but it's just your energy. You're popping, okay? And so some of you guys, are you're like dating this person slowly and they're taking their time. And for some of you, it, re it resonates like both ways. Like you both kind of have this energy. This is a connection that may take some time then if you guys actually like this person, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, just like you, you probably wouldn't want to hear these things too, if you like somebody. And if you've been cheating on and you've been hurt in your life and you hear this person has other options or they were out with someone else or they had to go out, text you back and you know, they're handsome and you know, they're good looking and you really like them. And you're probably going to feel the same way, you know, like I don't even blame this person at certain points, but some of you guys, it's like this person is overreacting to some of you guys. I think it's mutual. Like you both are doing this to each other, but yeah, I think it's somebody in your, in that it has been already very generous and open with you. And so they act weird and closed off from time to time. Yeah. Like some of you guys, I'm also hearing as well, you express like networking with this person. Like, like I'm seeing making music with the me, with the me head. Yeah. Some of you guys have a job or you network with someone attractive and, and that they're very jealous about that. Or this person you work with on something and maybe you have other projects with other people. Like, I feel like they're jealous over something that like, 
they shouldn't be because it's like they need to talk to you about it or you're not in a relationship or you were not in a relationship or something like that or you know you guys are working that way but they act closed off and, and rude from time to time so yeah i do feel like some of you guys too like you, you and this person fell off but the main reason was that they heard something or you even told them something that made them very jealous and they didn't communicate so they sabotaged it because they're like oh well they're probably trying to put this person anyway or whatever like and that's kind of what i'm seeing this person just has not they're not used to dealing with that level of competition and i feel honestly um two 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 i think you guys may empathize with this person if there if there is some time apart here um, but also I do feel as well that you guys may, um, I feel like you're going to empathize with this person because they, they honestly are like a sweet soul. I honestly, I'm on their side guys, because I feel like what they saw, what they heard is kind of, I'm not calling you guys for the streets, but what, what they saw and what they heard is, is you guilty a little bit. Okay. And I'm not saying guys did anything wrong, but in their sweet, innocent eyes, how dare you go out with him? I thought we were, I thought you had something special. <laughs> my enemy <laughs> no i'm kidding around guys but so you guys just have no idea like the layers of like what goes on behind the scenes because spiritual growth is really you guys' main focus here you're not really focused on like, gossip and drama and overthinking and i think that's what it comes down to just like my example when i'm laughing and making my stupid video and saying like not that i think like this is stupid but when i'm laughing and make my stupid jokes on my amazing videos i should say um i laugh and that's it for the day you know i'm done with work and this and someone could be watching this crying their eyes out like my innocent alice the love of my life you know i don't know how many people i probably lost the course of this channel making these jokes but anyway, that's kind of a way too to just gauge who can't handle what you got going on. Because you know, honestly, I've never cheated. I never will. And I feel you guys are the same way. If we're not together, we're not together. And we need to kind of work on communication here. And yes, there's a lot of intensities and emotions, but there's a lot of like, okay, we got to take this step by step here and work through that. So this person is realizing they need to grow up. They need to work on this jealousy issue. And also I feel that on the other end, I feel this person could have said or done things to make you jealous, thinking that you were going to react and, and come closer, but you guys could have the opposite effect too. So maturity needs to be had on both ends, guys. I think so. Okay. But I'm going to blame um, this person for their immature actions to what you guys may have done that you didn't know made them upset, but could have also made you upset in that position. Does that make sense, too, too, too? Oh my gosh. I feel like this, this pile's on. I'm just being crazy, but I hope you guys like that. We're hanging out here today. Look for a sign and peaceful resolution. Yeah, this person wants, yeah, you're seeing signs about this person because they want to, they actually want to make peace and hopefully move this situation, work on this situation with you. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on things with you guys because oh, they still like you. Yeah, and then the travel and this and the, yeah. Some of you guys, this was long distance or some of you guys, like, you want you told them you want to move somewhere else and they, they took it as oh my god you don't love me anymore but you're, you guys could be open to long distance like this person realizes that they ended in sabotage over something that was very workable because after you know all this time whether it's a couple days or a couple weeks or this is already something in your life they they care about you so much and i think that's why they overreact to things that they wouldn't have reacted in that way if it was somebody else you know but they just care that much and i think we've all been in that position where you like someone a lot so something little that they do makes you super like upset or you've been through so much that you tend to overthink something or hurt over something that you would have normal if you didn't go through those experiences like oh that's a red flag that's a red flag that's a red flag honestly guys been enough time on tiktok everything sounds like a red flag you know when you're listening to those dating coaches or you're listening to that's why I, sometimes i try to pull out of it even though i love the social issues and stuff i pull out of it sometimes i'm like i gotta enjoy my life i gotta go touch some grass you know this really need to go touch some grass all right we got union here but the main thing is that they really wanted a, a union with you guys so um and that hasn't changed, you know? That hasn't changed and their feelings hasn't changed. And so they're gonna take a leap of faith here. We've got the Eight of Wands again and they're tired of playing this this like hard to get thing. And yeah, for a lot of you guys, I really do feel like you have more than one option here or more than one person that likes you or coming after you. And I think that they know about this, guys. I think that they can just feel it. Even if you're like, oh, there's someone here who wants to do this with me or start this project with me or someone here reached out to me about this work we're gonna do or this is my co- Like they know someone else likes you and they know you got options. So quit playing around, two, 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 okay? The streets are crawling, you guys, okay? But I do feel that you really do like this person and you wanna see where things go. So um, yeah, and there ain't nothing wrong with that because as lightworkers and healers, you kinda have, and even as women, like for my women out there watching, you kinda have to learn to keep your options open this way because honestly, I feel like this person could be doing that too, but they just kind of intended on being with you, you know? 
And I feel that when women kind of do it, <laughs> you guys know, you want to get into that. But I feel that I kind of actually try to teach myself not to overinvest when I really like somebody because you need to always tell me, oh, there's other people out there for you to meet or see, or this person's not ready yet or whatever, 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 you know? There's a bunch of different reasons why. And when you mature yourself and pull yourself out of the emotion, you know, you can kind of see things through the wide-eye perspective, but nobody wants to hear that the person that they like is out with somebody else or sleeping with somebody else. Oh no, you know, I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me, I don't want to know, you know? Unless it's straight up deception, don't let me know, Angels, please, I don't want to know. And I'm here, I don't want to know that, babe. So it's like, mm, this person, I think that like they heard something they didn't, I don't want to know that, no, you know? So they found out something. So you guys, this is like an ex coming in hot because they found out you're with somebody new, if that resonates too. So that's what I'm saying for you guys. You definitely have two people around you, okay? And I think that this is like why I'm saying that, mm, you guys, uh, maybe they, they, it, it makes sense why they would be upset, but they need to communicate that with you because it's like the way they acted toward that made it more toxic. Uh, maybe they even like threw somebody else in your face and they just caused more mess, you know? But anyway, guys, uh, they want to work on things with you. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was a very uh, dramatic reading. But you have two energies here, but we got an emperor here. And this is somebody who definitely does not want to leave your life. And this is somebody who does see you as end game. So uh, you could probably feel that in them. You know that in them. And um, this is why you are sensing. Um, but at the same time, their energy could be a little like, yep, the past life connection strong. I'm hearing that one song where lovers in a past life, like this could even have been a new connection, but they feel it. And that, guys, it's honest to God, a connection that this person feels more than you do. And you might be surprised about that. You might be surprised about that, but there has been some connections in my life that I actually felt like, oh wow, this person felt this before I did, or they noticed me before I did, or they felt like we were so much before I did. And guess what? Those Mass energies tend to have Pisces placements or Gemini placements too. You know what? People are always talking bad about Geminis, but uh, Geminis are quite sensitive and very sweet. You know, um, a lot of them tend to fall very hard when they do and they overthink. So give your uh, Gemini, Pisces, Leo placement, third house, fifth house. Um, what else do we have here? <laughs> um, 12th house, lover, uh, seventh house, too, I'm saying as well, Libra energy too. Give them a break, okay, guys, when they come in. Because you may have been hurt by them getting so upset with you, but I think from their perspective, they were very hurt by finding out something, or they are very hurt, okay? Even if this person, some of you guys, you don't want them, and then you did, they did things to make you say no, no, no. But for some of you guys, it's like, okay. Or this person is just taking their time because they just are very aware of all your options, and they don't want to come in headstrong and fast, and they get themselves hurt. Some of you guys are just mad that this person's taking their time and being weird, even though you know that they like you. Well, there you go. Guys, stop lying. You're a hot commodity, okay? And um, that's all I want to say about that. Hope you guys like that message. Bye, guys. Okay, pile number 333. Let's hop right into the reading and find out who is up in your energy field. What is going on with this person? Okay, this person is dragging their feet, 333. And also, I had to kind of redo this reading like a few times. So this person definitely is kind of like wanting to redo their meeting with you or something that happened. I don't think it's that like severe, but in their mind, they really feel like they made the wrong impression because I was uh, pulling 222 kind of late and I said it's to kind of like resonate, but like in the opposite direction where 222 was more like that person felt like they got you wrong and wanted to come back. But the 333 person feels like they made the wrong impression and you got them wrong and now they can't really recover from that. But I actually feel like they can because they're kind of overthinking here with the destiny here. I feel like you guys are just like that. I don't really care about that. But this person really feels as though like they gave off the wrong impression when they met you. Like it just chill, just wanting to be friends. Like they feel like they set their foot forward as somebody that they're not. And I just feel as though they were going through like a transition in their life or they were maybe around wrong influences or they're just kind of like weren't like in their right mind or maybe they were drinking too as well. And they feel as though they just made off the wrong impression or said or did the wrong thing. And now they kind of want like a restart, I'm hearing. But I feel they will do this. But at the same time, I feel like when this person expresses this to you, like, oh, I'm sorry I came across as this way. Or maybe they already have, but they're still overthinking that. I'm sorry I came across as this way. Or I'm so embarrassed. But you guys may not even care. But there's something about this person just feeling like I ruined it before it even began. And they made the wrong impression. They may have Virgo placements. I have a Virgo moon, so I understand this. Perfectionist energy. They just wanted to come in, like, being a certain way. And they didn't accomplish that the way they wanted to. It didn't go right. Uh, they really thought that they were going to make a good impression and they didn't or they were very careless in their approach because of what they were going through in life or they were drinking or they didn't realize how much they liked you because there's something about this person reflecting now on this connection and being like 
what the heck was I thinking? I lost my shot with this person. They can have Aries placements as well as Leo uh, confidence. And we have, it's time to take action. It's more of this person lacking confidence than it really is about anything else. I feel for this pile in particular, this person hasn't done anything wrong. Like they just overthink or they overthought the situation. But now I feel like you guys may feel like this person doesn't like you or they rejected you. And I think that that's more of where they went wrong. Like, I feel it's not even that you wouldn't want a shot with this person. It's just that you're like, what's the matter with them? I don't want a connection like this if this person can't communicate, you know? But I feel like your intuition was telling you this person was part of your destiny, but like it never cultivated. And it's partially because of this person. And I see the drinks here, I see the drinks there, six of cups. Like this person may on the opposite end, like could have been in like a, a, a tight money situation when they met you and they didn't want to date. And so they wanted to wait till they had money and now they came across as rejecting you. Um, I kind of feel something like that. Like there was a reason why they are, weren't acting right, whether they were in the right mindset or they wanted to wait till a different time period. But they just feel now that they kept it too casual and you're not going to see them as more than a friend or you don't want them at all, which I don't think is true because I think that you guys feel like this person is part of your destiny. And then we have number 10 here, which I feel like you guys are interested in this person. And also this person does watch you a lot with the page of pentacles and study these a lot. And I feel like upon studying you, they realize that they messed up because maybe you guys carry yourself in a different way than what they, I feel like you guys are maybe the type of person that once someone gets to know you, they realize that you have a certain standard of what you want. And this person probably figured that out upon getting to know you a little bit or studying you that they made a wrong move, you know? <laughs> I feel this person definitely did that. And with a little bit of research, they could also realize that maybe you guys are just great people and you wouldn't care about this thing that they think that they messed up on. But they really miss you and then reach out. But they but they don't do it because they're just being really hard on themselves. Like this person is inflicting pain onto themselves, I feel like. I, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Instead of just like saying, hey, what's up, you know? And I feel like they're making a situation worse than it needs to be. Yeah, this person feels like with the um, choices upside down, like you don't see them as a love option. But like I was saying in, in the last pile too, if you guys were drawn to that, which I feel like some of you guys could be, like you could just be the type of person that wants to start off as friends and chill and you don't really judge people on that caliber when you first meet them. You like to find out how you feel about them over time. Cause I'm the type of person too that I don't really care for first impressions that much because I know that people are kind of fake, you know? I want, I want to know how you make me feel over time or how I feel about you over time and the things that I know about you. And even that person presented something goofy or silly initially, like, I feel that like you, they can recover from that. A lot of uh, women in particular that I know always kind of say, I didn't really like this guy at first, you know? And I feel like they, you may have never even really liked this person at first, you know, but at the same time, you may have started to like them and they pulled away and now they're upset that they made a wrong impression. It's like funny because uh, they, I feel like this person has a little bit of delayed intuition or delayed response. Like they thought it over like when it wasn't even like a, a big deal, you know? Uh, communication and this and yeah long distance um, hmm see what else we have going on there hmm I want to get more information about this yeah okay this brunette female I feel like could be you guys like maybe you guys are very intense and focused confident people and I think that that may have been something that kind of scared this person off because you do think some of you guys this person does have game and they definitely are not the type to run away or anything like that. But there's something about you guys being like very focused and knowing what you want. They've never had anyone like that before. They perceived you as rejecting them or not wanting them before they even really gave it a real shot. And I feel like you guys didn't reject them at all. And they know that, but it's kind of like they just kind of got lost in their head. But I do feel a lot of you guys could be very open about wanting something in particular or not liking something in particular that this person is, you know? And I feel that it's not that you can't learn to like this person or they can't work on those things. It's just that they automatically assume, well, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> well, I'm guilty of that. So I don't think I can pursue this person, you know? Like, for instance, like if someone came to my video, right? I'm giving myself an example. And I start talking about like, I really don't like this type of person, someone who, you know, just plays the field and doesn't, and whatever. And this person's like, well, I play the field. I don't know, this is something stupid, guys. I, I'm trying to give an example, but I couldn't think of one right now. Like, you guys may have been like, oh, okay, I got an example. Like, I don't like guys that want to date women that don't have enough money to do so. This person's like, oh, I don't have money to date. Like, oh, then they kind of pull back their energy because they're like, oh, like, I, I, what am I doing? I should work on my money then. I, you know what I mean? I feel like this person could have been immature in um, in their approach, but also this person could be like, just the type of person that can naturally pull 
I do feel that sometimes energies of people that can naturally pull, like they don't really need to do much of anything. So it didn't really matter if their money situation wasn't great or the communication skills weren't that great. They just always kind of like attracted people to them. So when they actually meet someone focused and with standards and with things going on, they're thrown through a loop. It's kind of like that uh, card that I have in my digital deck, high standards got me shook. I kind of feel like that's what it is because it wasn't really like they came across as anyway that terrible, but it's just that they feel like based upon the way they approach this connection that you're not going to like them anymore or you don't like them anymore. And I feel like they felt like they had to make a really good impression, but they got distant or this person could live a distance from you or a movie could have been involved or a breakup could have been involved. There could have been a lot of things going on in your life or their life that kind of equated to this. But um, this person got very distant with you because they didn't feel good enough. That's really what it comes down to. Um, let's see what else we have here. Four of Cups. Yeah, and instead of just like trying to communicate, they just got distant and kind of like apathetic. But I feel you guys were offering your cup to this person. Like you were like, it's cool, but like, you know, I feel a connection to you. It's okay Like that things are not the way you want them to be or you're going to transition or you don't have enough money right now. You have other great things to offer like, and I like to talk about this too as well because, okay, now I have an example. Like on my videos, for instance, right? I will tell you guys, oh, I really like guys with money, sugar daddy, woohoo. Or I'll be like, yeah, don't date me unless you have the financial means. So I could see somebody like coming to my channel and being like, oh my gosh, Alice doesn't like me. She's not gonna like me. I don't have the financial means to date her, right? But at the same time, I also do say, or try to say when I'm not joking, like, oh yeah, I like someone as well that is emotionally showing up or has other things going on. If they're working on themselves, if they're going through a tough time or there's other reasons why they may not have things the way they want them to be. I say, like, yeah, focus on what you need to, but we can also still get to know each other and we can also see, you know, it's not only, oh, you don't have money, I don't want to talk to you. There's so many other ways someone can add to your life or give to you. And I feel like this person has other qualities that they can give to you if they didn't feel like their education wasn't there or their money wasn't there. Some of you guys here are very strict on what you like, but you were willing to kind of compromise it for this person, but their actions kind of sabotaged it. Like some of you guys too, they could have been younger than you as well, or I feel that... Um, or they felt like they were just like not what you wanted. And I think there was an aspect of them that wasn't. For a lot of you guys, it definitely is financial. But I actually feel like with the 333, it's more like the fact that you guys can see right through this person that makes them uncomfortable. Because I think that they do have some things they're lacking in in life. And when they're, for some people, they're very good at covering up with a persona. But I feel with you guys, like you get people to open up and share or overshare their struggles. So Something tells me that this person definitely overshared with you maybe and they were embarrassed about it. Like, oh, I just told this person too much already. I can't come back from this. But I think you guys like this person and you felt like drawn to them for a reason and you were willing to see where this goes. Especially if you guys are younger, like as well, like this person shouldn't be so hard on themselves or even this person's older. I feel like they went through something that there's a reason why they're not where they want to be or they went through a big transition or a career transition. Like they're quitting their old life and starting new. And I feel like it's not like the same energy, like where I say, yeah, I don't want someone who's on the same struggle or the same financial struggle they were on or the same financial issues they were on two, three years ago. I want to see signs of growth in people. That's more than I'm talking about, you know, three, 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 you want someone on your level, but someone could definitely bounce back very quickly with the right mentality. And this person, definitely has that but they're very hard on themselves so it makes sense and in an aspect of them i think it's good that they pull back if they feel like they're not quite where they need to be you know i also feel with this person maybe they were just going through a lot emotionally and you guys can sense it you were saying hey like um are you still hurting over your breakup i could kind of feel that you know or oh like is something going on like you guys probably picked up this person's vulnerabilities and they don't want you to see them as a wounded dog they want you to see them as someone that they like so they felt like coming across as wounded or sad or going through stuff like they did you know what i mean 333 this is something that came into your life where they definitely showed up a little wounded and at first they would do that with you know other people but not with you guys because they want you to see them as more than that you know and I feel that they know that you can see right through them and they know that you know that they're wounded, you know? But I feel that you guys are not judging. It's just more this person's hard on themselves. So it's like you are like a mirror reflecting that back at themselves. Very deep, um, I feel. So this person regrets now keeping it chill because they still really like you guys. So this could be someone from a while ago. This could be somebody recent that pulled back. And they just feel like you could pick up when they're hurting. So whenever they're hurting, they may have pulled back their energy. And they could be hurting for a long period of time. And I feel this person could be hurting over, like, maybe not an ex, but maybe other things in their life and financial struggles. And it's embarrassing to them because if you guys are saying, oh, I want someone like this and this and this, and then they don't feel like they're that, then they, they want to be that. And they also know you're looking at them like they're not that. And they're afraid of you guys 
not seeing them as someone you're going to take seriously. And I think 33 for a lot of you guys, with the 33 energy does give me friendship vibes. If you guys are like, oh, it's cool. We could be friends and chill. And they're like, I don't want that though. You know, like I don't want to be that. I want to be better. Like, so I feel this person's like, I don't, I don't hate them for this, but I feel some of you guys, like if they're distancing yourself, themselves, they're probably just trying to work on themselves and come back. Let's see what else we have behind. Yeah, I'm willing to spend to make you happy. There we go. Guys, this is my favorite card in my digital deck. Like I was saying in 222 at the end because I forgot to read the card, but I actually use my digital deck as timestamps today just, just for fun. Uh, but I feel that um, this is my favorite card. <laughs> And that's why I'm laughing because I really think that it's true. Like I always talk about this because I'm very attracted to someone very generous. Like I really like generous lovers. It's just, it turns me on. Like when you spend on me, it's one of my friends. And I like guys that are hardworking and have goals and ambitions and that are strong. Da, da, da. So I can kind of get that. If you guys are the same way like me, like you probably are like, oh, you know, you'll get through it. But you're also just like, Ugh, you know, that, that doesn't really turn me on, you know, but at the same time, I also feel as though there's something about this person you actually really like because I also have this saying as well. I'd rather have that person that will like literally like still make time to work hard and, and, and take me out. Even if they don't have a lot, it's a thought that counts. It's not about what you have. It's the energy you bring to the table. If they're working really hard to show up for you to be a good friend and, and they have all these other things and they're working through these things, you can't really knock them, you know? And I feel like this is a genuinity here, but this person, um, they want to be that person that you see that could spend on you and make you happy. And they're willing to do that. And I feel like this person doesn't want to put themselves in like a bad financial situation or they want to be financially okay. So that's what I'm kind of seeing. And I feel that um, this person did not present themselves as, they couldn't present themselves, I guess, as what you wanted. And that's what upsets them. There's also a message that some of you guys have someone that, that you've known for a while that was watching you, but they're finally approaching now. And the reason is because this could be in your life right now. And this could be something that this is like the after effect. Either this is going to happen or this is happening. And the reason is really about money. Like you may not know that. They're like, you may think, oh, did you not like me back then? But they're like, they probably don't want to tell you like, no, you're struggling financially. And I was going through a lot, you know, of issues. Like nobody really wants, this one doesn't want to tell you that. But I think you guys may have known they're going through a breakup and they want to make sure they're not, you know, jumping from relationship to relationship. There's actually a very much an accountable energy with this person. And I feel like they're able to hang out, be casual and cool with other people, but they can't do that with you because they can see that you can see right through them. They want to take action towards you, but definitely this person pulled back and even maybe appeared not interested uh, because of just not feeling good enough. So let's see what else we have going on here. we got the emperor. Again, that's my card of this person wanting to stay in your life long term. And if you guys chose 222, there's another aspect here where this person feels as though you have better options that can give you what you want. And if you are very open about wanting a provider and someone that can spend on you and all these things, then I feel that this person was working on that so that they can come towards you. Like they did like you, but I feel like there's something like some of you guys, like maybe there was some backfiring energy here too as well, because I do feel that. Uh, maybe this person came across as something that you guys didn't want if they approached in the wrong way. But I think their intention was to impress you as well. Like some of you guys, it could have been like they came across super material and they were bragging and this and that. And you're like, okay, you know. Uh, but I feel that at the end of the day, there's someone here that wants to come towards you. They like you and they feel like you you are going to reject them or did reject them because they didn't make the best impression. And they feel like you got them all wrong and now you don't see them as an option anymore. And you guys could still see them as an option. Maybe you were upset with something that they said or did. And but it wasn't that big of a deal, you know. But for them, they're like, that's not the way I wanted to come across. Like someone's slapping themselves and thinking about you uh, big time. And some of you guys, like maybe they did, you know, something wrong here that you guys don't agree with. If it resonates, especially with these signs are coming in strong too. But you may not even know this person's signs. It could be someone you don't know very well, guys. But it's like something you think about or like, hmm, you know, what the hell happened to that person, you know. But they're in your energy or you dream about them. Uh, you definitely jumped about this person too, I feel, again, because they're getting very dreamy energy here, or they're really, like, yeah. This person should have just, like, said something instead of, like, pulling back, because the real issue, I think, is the time this person has spent away from you, because I feel like you guys are just like, I don't want that, you know? i rather slowly build friendship and you you kind of like you know get yourself together as we're friends and and talking and maybe even dating slowly you know but the, the pulling back or the on and off or the the weirdness I don't like that I don't like you ghosting me or not answering me but this person definitely definitely feels like they messed up here yeah like I said before this person feels that you guys maybe some of you guys do live a distance or it's expensive to see you or see them they just feel like they can't it really comes down to the fact that this person knows that you want 
king of pentacles hello sugar daddy no you guys want somebody that has things going for them and they just don't feel like they have that so they're they are trying to work on that and come back um that's really the energy here that i'm seeing some of you guys are just inquiring about someone that like you like but when you think about it you're like yeah you know what they do have these issues and so i feel like this person as well was just very like um casual with you and you got fed up with them for like not being able to communicate how they felt about you. Some of you guys were in like a situationship or just like a friendship with this person, but they were very distant and it start, maybe started off as long distance as well. And you may have even offered this person like, hey, let's do this together, that together. Or why can't you take me out? Or why can't you do this? And they didn't want to explain to you that they have a lot of money issues, you know, uh, that maybe they are reasonable, you know, maybe they are situational and not even in their control because sometimes people really are down on their luck. And I like to say this too, because I don't want to come across as that as well. And I like to look at different perspectives. Um, but also, yeah, this person didn't want to disappear, but they also didn't want to come in the wrong way and they didn't want to like put themselves into debt because they want to spend to make you happy. Does that make sense? Three, three, three. So I really feel like the root of this is some sort of money issue. Um, and I, I really feel that way. And somebody is working on that and now wanting to come back because they miss you guys. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like I could never afford to keep you happy though. Like this person's just very sad about this. I'm jealous over you. Yeah. And this person feels as though you are probably better off with someone else, but they still really like you. I'm going to apologize and um, yeah, because this person may have ghosted you guys because they just felt like I'm hearing I ruined it before I began. I should have never did that. I should have never came across that way or I should have never ghosted or I should have just said what was really going on um, because either it's finances or it's like they really were hurting or depressed and they just didn't want you to see them like that. Yeah, I'm hearing who I, who I am hates who I've been. It's like a Reliant K song. Um, you guys may know it, may not, but he says, like, I don't want you to know where I am because then you'll see my heart in the saddest place it's ever been. So I'm hearing this person just really sad about, like, on top of it, it's like they're sad about this not working out too. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. You leveled up and it's like you keep leveling up and upping your game and they're just like, oh, like, I want to be this person for you. Um, so um, let's see what else we have going on here. Like, what's this person going to do now? They're definitely coming back with the Six of Cups there. I think this person definitely needs to do a lot of healing of their confidence because with the Queen of Wands there, and I feel like you guys, like, really like this person. Like, I think you are willing to make exceptions for them and only them if they work on themselves, like, you know? And I feel that also with the Hangman in reverse, like, you guys also are learning maybe a different perspective through this person. Like, maybe you were very strict on who you would like to date like maybe they had to go to college or maybe they had to be from a certain type of family or maybe they had to be um someone who wasn't long distance or maybe they had to be all together financially and make this much or that much like maybe you did have these standards but when you met this person you're like you know what they're really sweet and they and they make me happy so um maybe it's not all about that or some of you guys it just they did have a lot of things together but it was more like they needed some healing and uh they just needed some time and that's really it um but i feel like a different perspective was definitely needed on both ends here. We got the um, Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Yeah, I just feel like, again, this person just feels as though, at the end of the day, two, three, three, this person could have like decent finances, but there's something about this person kind of being maybe too traditional in the sense where they're like, you probably make more money than them and you also are out of their league. <laughs> so it's like, what do you need me for, you know? But there's other things this person can give emotionally, mentally, there's some kind of just destined reason why this person's in your life. So they have something to bring to the table. You guys let me know what it is because they're not telling me what it is because they are not feeling this way about themselves. But this person, um, yeah, King of Pentacles. Look, they're King of Pentacles. They are loyal. They are grounded. They have a stable energy to them. And some of you guys are dating someone right now and you're wondering why they're not committing to you or why they not want to say, hey, I want to be in a relationship with you. It's really about money because you may feel like you. this person does have some stability or some ability to be stable, but they don't feel like it's enough for you guys. They feel like I, I have these like toxic love notes and I don't know where I put them, but I'm seeing one of the channeled ones where it was like, I could never afford to keep you happy, but I'm willing to try, you know, and I think this is it. So this is going to be somebody that probably is going to try to work on their finances or healing themselves or their confidence. Like they're just something where they feel like they're lacking and something that you need. And you guys are a queen of wands, your whole firecracker. And it's a lot for this person. And they're just like, whoa, you know, I don't know if I can handle all your fire, you know, maybe some of you guys are culturally different than this person or from a different background. Like they're just not used to someone like you, but it doesn't mean they don't like you. It's just that they feel like you're not you're they're not what you want. Does that make sense? But they could be very much wrong. Uh, I feel like this is somebody that maybe they don't have what you want, but they got what you need. And um, 
like I was saying in problem one, one, like you guys may not, you guys may have thought you needed a whole provider sugar day, but maybe you need some emotional support and a teammate, you know, um, in life. Maybe they have some skill sets that can help level you both up. And that's why you guys got to be open to different things and um, never, ever raise your, lower your standards. Like, you know, three, 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 never that, you know, and I feel like this person was willing to meet you there in the courting phase. So you're like, what, what's the deal here, you know? Even if they have minor hiccups, they're still willing to do it. So I feel that um, it's just more of them overthinking. And now they're like, no, I want this here. So yeah, they, they, you got someone here who really likes you. They're overthinking. And this person is a little bit more chill than the pile 222 person. Because some of you guys have the pile 222 and the pile 333 person both kind of coming at you because those piles intertwined. And the pile uh, 333 person probably feels like you can have, okay, if this person's got money, then they're really insecure about their looks. You know what I mean? Um, 333. Three, three. Very interesting, 333. Three, three. But if you, yeah. You guys could be the type of person that dates all different types of people. So this person could think that your type is different than them or they're different than usual type. There's something about looks that comes in because when I'm seeing the, the brunette female here, maybe like somebody has said something to this person like, oh, you're dating so-and-so or talking to so-and-so. They're usually like this type of person. And somehow I feel like this person feels like they're not your type or you're not attracted to them uh, because of confidence or money you know it goes either way because they could have money the king of pentacles here yeah very interesting to but i think that it all really comes down to this person overthinking because like i said you guys are my light workers my healers you probably fall in love with people's souls more than anything else you know and i do feel that this person is is very much good enough and they have a lot of great qualities and they got a, a lot of goodness in them but i do feel that uh this pile this person is going to move very slow but they are going to come in and message you but i don't think they're going to offer you anything right now because they don't feel good enough but at least they feel good enough to be part of your life now uh this person is sweet though three, 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 because honest to god i like this energy because if you don't feel like you are enough work on yourself because it's true they you really don't want this energy rubbing off on you and they know that you could feel it they know that you're insightful you can see right through them that they're wounded <laughs> in one way or another you may have said something about it to them you may have picked up on it you guys are my psychic people here or they may have opened up to you about it and they're like crap like i just made myself sound like a wussy you know they want they want this emperor daddy and i came across as this little pagey boy you know this pagey girl all right so let's see yeah four cups Yeah. Because I feel like this person was already just going to mourn the ending of this or the morning this thing not going to work out, whatever. Like, they kind of just, like, break up in their head and, and things. It's like, I'm hearing, like, I'm thinking all the, the way... I'm hearing so many songs. This person has, like, music. Um, I'm thinking all the ways that this can end. Like, this person just thinks about all everything can go wrong instead of just, like, working on what can go right. And they're jealous over you. And we got the, the choice in reverse. It's like, this like, the last pile. They know you have a lot of options, but they don't even... See they don't even think you see them as one of those options. Where the 2-2-2 person like ran to the, the finish line thinking that they can just have you. This person's like the opposite of the pressure. They like, they're like, am I even an option? Am I even the running? I'm honored, but like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Three, three, three. So yeah, I feel this is somebody that either is slow moving and now came back after a while or they're going to be coming back and you and you can feel they're part of your destiny because I do think they're meant to be one of your options regardless of uh, where they're at in life, you know? But the Knight of Swords, they're coming in and yeah, they have a lot of feelings for you guys. And I feel like they could fill your cup in a different way than um, you guys expect or in a way that you never experienced before or something that you may actually really need um, to fulfill your purpose. There's so many different complexities to divine unions and I think this person has the capabilities of that. The King of Wands here, you could be dealing with a, a Leo, Sag, or Aries person, but I actually think, again, we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. You guys wanna check out the last pile because the same thing happened with two different energies. So again, like I do feel that you guys are my people who have multiple options and it's gonna come across as people not liking you because they're so intimidated by that. Uh, that's why I'm saying my channel is for my people who are my light workers, my healers, who's popping, doing things with your life. And you got a lot of people watching you destined for big things, of course. And I think this person is destined for big things too. So um, you're bringing that out of them, you know? You're definitely bringing that out of them. And um, they're going from, oh, I don't even have a shot to, wait a minute, I did have a shot. What was I thinking? And um, I think that they were going to run away, but, um, or initially they never even made a move, but they started to listen to their intuition or they're starting to listen to their intuition and they, and they're going to get this new start because they were just listening to their, their fears and not, and not their true energy towards you guys. Um, yeah. A J is here. So that could be relevant. A U, a, a, a D, a G, the word judgment, an M, an E, and an a T. Those could be significant here. 
Um, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, maybe you guys did judge this person a little bit. Because um, I do feel like, uh, not my usual type, you may have joked around about that. But hey, you know, whatever. But um, for some of you guys, it's, it's just in their head. Um, but anyway, the judgment here, because I do feel that, um, yeah, envy and then we have imagination. <sighs> Man, these people let like, their minds run wild. They just need to kind of see how things go. Uh, but I feel that this person definitely imagines that you would want someone that's not like them or you are still in love with your ex or something like that i don't know or you you want someone else too they're just imagining something that you don't want them or blah, blah, blah. but i think that you guys probably do or you're interested at least uh fear yeah this person's definitely just like like i feel like the good person is just like more um in their head you know the two person actually i feel like heard something that made them really upset this person is more like they're just looking at themselves like why would they even want me and they need to work on that you know discipline yeah and i think that for some of you guys if this person has come back from the past and it resonates they actually are and have disciplined themselves to work on themselves so that they can make you this offer which is super super romantic honestly i feel like you guys are very inspirational to this person um in your head yeah some of you guys already feel this way about someone in your life it's not in your head there's definitely someone that is coming up around you that is working on themselves and you inspire them to do it and you can feel it um and i feel with the final two there yeah listen this person is like a, like pile number two to two is like two ego and this one needs a little bit of a bigger ego because this person is like all the options uh i don't even know how i'm going to compete the other person's like how the hell do you have all these options i want it to myself you know it's like the complete opposite but this person if they like i could feel like they have potential to be like very healthy because they're so um i mean that one song as well take your time like they wanted to t they don't want to steal your freedom you know they want to take time with you they want to get to know you and they just don't want to hey my lady, I don't want to impose, you know? <laughs> you know, but they're surprised they even made it this far because um, honestly, they, they, they do not think that they have a real shot with you. It's their intuition that's telling them that they do. They would not think that. Their intuition just keeps pulling them towards you. So they're like, okay. They, they're probably spiritual in a sense because if they if they wasn't, if they weren't spiritual or wasn't listening to your intuition, they definitely would not even, because because logically, they don't have a shot, guys. I'm, I'm just saying it. Logically, they wouldn't. They're not your usual, for sure. There's something here that a lot of you guys probably were like, mm-mm. That's not something I usually like. But upon second look, that's not what I want. But I just might be, wait, you may have something I need. <laughs> wait, I need that, you know? So that's what I'm kind of seeing. This person is working on themselves. And they want to be, they don't They don't want you to see them that way. They, they actually want to spend, make you happy. And yeah, the, another, another end of this is somebody that came in and had money to spend, but they just didn't feel confident in their looks. So that's another thing too as well. And they're like, oh, they're just with me because my money. Like, you know, so this person just like needs to get their ego in check. You like them. Because if you were just after money, then you could date anybody with money. That's why I always tell men to, oh, you want to go out with money? I said, don't you think I could just get out with money? That's what I just wanted. I'm looking for something specific. I don't know what it is, but I'll know when I find it because I know God got someone planned for me. So you may just be in the running. You know what I mean? That's what I tell them. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. Because I feel like I feel that when it comes to divine unions and when you are on a spiritual path, that sometimes there really is multiple options and your angels are letting you choose but also people have free will and what they could do with the energies around them and that's why it's so important not to stay stuck on one person because your angels probably have multiple people that are in the running just like everybody else has multiple options so there's nothing wrong with saying that um you don't need to be with somebody that's dragging their feet behind them but this is somebody that um is going to be coming in now because they do feel that you are part of their destiny but um this person just feels like they don't they don't have enough compared to some of the other people that you have and oh my lordy no i'm not gonna say that all right insert something 18 plus there okay and for my men watching for women as well like maybe my men watching you date a certain type and they don't fit that you know so I'm, I'm seeing an insecure person like, i'm too overweight for you or my you know what is not big enough you know da, 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 da. yep that's what i'm hearing so <laughs> this person is just a little silly goose okay because ain't about it's about the, the, okay shh <laughs> Alice, <laughs> I'm being a little crazy over here. Um, yeah. Oh, we got the single dad here too as well. Some of you guys may have mentioned you don't want somebody who has kids already. They have that already. It's just something about like you may overlook it for them. You know? You know what I'm saying? Three, three, three. You might, you might have been able to do that because look at this little girl. She's a sweetheart. Okay, maybe I can't be a stepmama. You know? <laughs> anyway, I'm joking around, guys. Whatever it is, you know, it can, it can resonate. Or maybe you know, you got. I just feel like this person needs to kind of like communicate. Because I just feel that um, you guys like this person and that's why it's coming into the reading. We got the final two there. So I really feel as though, uh, yeah, this person fears that 
and they feel in fear you just have another option or they know about it. Uh, I actually feel for this person, they fear your ex is coming back or an ex is coming back because you mentioned an ex to them. You might just been telling a story. You know, I tend to do that too. I'm like, oh, I can't. Like, sometimes I talk too much because like I like to tell stories about my life because they shape who I am. But some people, they really will hear like one thing and they're like, run with it. You know, oh, they still want their ex or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But I feel like some of you guys too, you met this person after a breakup and they were afraid that they're just a rebound. Like they let insecurity take over or maybe they don't, they thought you didn't want something long distance. This person just assumed something or that wasn't going to work, but it actually could, it could work, you know? And that's why they're coming. They're like, you know what? This can actually work because they got to work on themselves and they realized this can actually work. The hopeless romantic and they're a hopeless romantic and that's it you know they are like i feel like the notebook i don't know why they make, like they make like romantic movies like because you know like the, like the uh antagonist or i don't know whatever the word is she had like two offers but one guy was like the rich guy and the handsome guy and the other guy was like the guy from back home you know <laughs> i kind of feel like it's like that kind of like this person like you know what screw it you know this person may build you a house with their hands just because they don't have the money for it. It's, it's romantic, okay? It ain't always about money. It isn't because I call it a certain type rich dusties, like guys that like have money, but they just, they're just so dang disrespectful. Uh, you know, that I'm not interested in that. I'd rather have a humble, a humble person, hardworking. And that's all it really comes down to. And this person is definitely that. Full moon and Capricorn. Yeah, this person can have a moon Capricorn. Yeah. And, and Taurus energy too. You know what? I do feel for this person that for some of you, you revealed a lot about yourself and you didn't realize that this person was struggling more than they present to. So this person definitely um, is working on themselves. Some of you guys are dating right now, but they're taking a while. Because even if they have a lot, they don't feel like it's enough. Some of you guys, this person has high ideals. They're not happy because they got a million dollars, you know? And for that, they need to, you know, hey, you know what? Aim for the sky. I don't, I don't you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to knock this person's dreams because they need, they need encouragement more than they need to be putting down, you know? But uh, you could do it, pile number 333. Get the pile number 333 person. You got this. Build that house. Get that Gatsby-style mansion. But they just stab in themselves with the thought of you not wanting them instead of just surrendering to this divine union that is going to take place. And it is not over between you and this person. We got Pisces here. Regardless if you're going all the way, they, you guys are meant to cross paths. They have something special for you. If you know what I mean. No, I actually don't know what I mean by that. I mean their energy. It's their energy, guys. This person is a healer. Yep, they're a healer and they're, they have, they're an empath. And I think that they kind of know that, that you guys know that they all together, you know? Um, but yeah, this person, you know, is either in your life being chill and they're coming at you a little bit more now. They take some time off, but you're thinking about them and that's kind of what I'm seeing. You just want to know. And then, yeah, blindsided and in your head. Yeah, I feel like you guys were blindsided by this person, you know, disappearing. Because you really thought, you know, or being weird or distant or not even, like, trying, you know, anymore. Because your intuition told you that they really like you and they miss you and they care and they want to fight for this. So, this is the main reason why. We got the Queen of Swords there. This person sees that you can, you can, you can break them in half, okay? That you will break them if you break their heart this person is sensitive man that's what i'm seeing you know you, you probably could guys i'm not even gonna lie i ain't gonna manic cap no but that's what i'm seeing um you, you probably did already break this person's heart in their mind <laughs> just by the fact that they don't measure up to some other options that you have out there in their mind again that's what i'm seeing for 53 do hope you guys like that message i'm also seeing a b there because i'm seeing the word blind bl and um yeah, communicate clearly. I think this person's gonna get it together and come towards you. They want an opportunity and a shot. And I feel like this person has been working on themselves or they are actively working on themselves so that they can come and make you an offer. But they feel like if they make you an offer too soon, you will laugh at them and just break them even more. So they wanna make sure they are at their best. So you guys, it is like they wanna lose weight or get strong and big and strong and handsome or beautiful or you know get that work done, you know, or they really wanna, uh, make a certain amount and they have a goal. So, hey, you know what? I think this could also be the reason why that you guys crossed paths because this person needed that little bit of fire. Even if it doesn't work out for them, I think they would be like, you know what? Even if this doesn't work out, I bettered myself so I could have a shot at this. So, I really like that, honestly. Uh, 333, you guys gotta like that. I do hope you guys like that message. Bye, guys. Okay, 444. Four, four. Let's hop right into the reading and find out 
who is all up in your energy field. All right, 444, four, four, very interesting message because it was just not clicking. I'm like, what is this person doing? Who is this person? What's going on? Guys, this is someone that you really don't expect and it won't really come to mind. That's really what I'm hearing, but they are gonna come in and come through. And you're gonna be like, ah, oh, Alice told me about this because I do feel like this is somebody that has found out about you through different means. Maybe you guys will register who this person is, but I feel like it's an energy of you guys not really knowing this person very well or not understanding why they like you so much. I feel like they feel they have legitimate reasons, but I do feel that this person feels like they know you because they know you through something else or someone else. Like they find out things about you through someone else and they feel like they'd be a really good match for you, which is very interesting. We got hometown there. Maybe some of you guys live near this person or some of you guys like your parents know this person and talk about you or someone's trying to hook you up with this person and they know it or you guys have mutual friends or some of you guys, mm, I feel like maybe they know someone you know or one of your friends and they talk about you a lot and they're like, ooh, I feel like I would be good for them or I, have a, I wonder if I have a shot with them, you know? I feel like with the obstacle and home there, I feel that there's some sort of obstacle this person feels in the way of getting to you. It could just be that they don't know you. I mean, this is very strange, but they know of you, which is interesting. Or they feel that, yeah, because some of you guys are on stage or you are shining and adored by a lot of people so a lot of people talk about you some of you guys just frequent the same spots and areas where you live near this person they've seen you around and they've kind of like feel like or some of you guys they come to your workplace a lot but i feel that you wouldn't you don't really know their name or something like that yeah that's what i'm feeling it's like nothing will come to the situation like i feel that some of you guys it's like the void it's not that nothing will come of this. It's like the void is like you guys not knowing this person very well. Like trying to like understand who is this? What do they want? Like, let's get a little more information though. Cause I see the queen of swords is there. So this person is afraid of approaching, but they're going to approach um, because I feel that this person feels like they got something you need. This is somebody that is a secret admirer for, for, for that's the word, a secret admirer. You got a secret admirer. And I feel that this person really likes the way you run things. Like maybe you guys are the head of a business or you guys are on stage or you run the show or their boss or they look up to you, you know, um, or they're, or somebody that they know of through somebody else um, or your parents again, talk about you to this person um, or they just found out about you one way or another, started watching you or started to get interested in what you have going on. And uh, this person could be interested in the real estate as well. So that could be something that is there or something about the living situation in hometown. So maybe they do live in your town or something like that, or maybe you're from the same town. Some of you guys is someone that admires you from school or growing up. Yeah, this could be a secret admirer from your high school or from your college that may have added you and you forgot about them or they or you worked with them a while ago. And I just feel that they recently started thinking about you, checking up on you, and they're like, hmm, you look really good. Or they looked you up because of somebody else talking about you and they're like, ooh, I kind of want this person. And yeah, they're trying to get a pathway to you guys, basically. Um, let's see what we have here. My vibration is too low. Very interesting. So... I kind of feel with this energy, this is definitely somebody who got kind of interested in you, but it's like very random, I have to say, because you guys are very high vibrational and you are objecting for big things. So I think at times people who are not even necessarily meant to be on your path will start to take a weird interest in you just because of your energy. And I do feel that maybe some of you guys like the opposite, they are meant to be on your path. And that's why they started taking an, um, an interest in you guys as well. But my vibration is too low. That could be the obstacle here. Like this person needs to um, vibe, vibe up a little bit. So that's why they took some time away. And I like to talk to you guys about this as well because these concepts are things that you guys may feel are rejection, but in reality, they're actually just energetic. Like there could be people that you think are rejecting you or don't like you or don't wanna be around you or even rejecting you in the past, but they actually just vibrationally were just not be able to come close to you because you guys are on a whole, a whole other level. And uh, sometimes it just takes a lot for people to get up to that level, the level of understanding and the level of, you know, the whole vibration thing, you guys are looking to it, but it really is something that um, this person is experiencing, but it's not really a bad thing because I think that you made them level up outside of their hometown mentality. Like this is the type of person that so I think outside the box because of you guys. Um, so they probably are watching you, what you're doing. Maybe you guys went through an awakening and then they started to go through one as well. 
but um i do feel that some of you guys are online this could be someone who's a fan of what you're doing too or someone who wants to network but i feel like this is somebody who has things going for them as well they feel like they have a shot with you because uh with the host there like this person feels like they are also very similar to you yeah i feel like this person feels like they're similar to you and they want to come towards you i feel like they feel that the obstacles are something that they can overcome luck is on your side sagittarius if you have sagittarius placements uh this person feels that they are lucky to even have a chance with you or to like live near you or to have known you from high school some of you guys really did glow up or really come become somebody and this person wants a shot with you now um not that they didn't want one in the past but it's like maybe they recently reconnected with you or found you through some other means or heard about you through someone else and they're looking you up now and they're like oh i actually they're single still i really wanted a shot with them back in the day maybe now i have a shot i think it's more this person feeling now they have a shot more than before or maybe in the past you guys just didn't really cross paths like that you know but something about them kind of taking to your energy now and wanting to come forward there's some kind of like i feel connection here like there's some kind of mutual link whether it is just the internet or um you guys being online or somebody you both know that may have accidentally connected you guys but i think it's the universe but yeah someone could just been talking about you this person like oh i asked this person online or oh did i hear about so and so from high school like they're doing this now and they're like hmm, let me look it up but like wow you know and they just started to watch you and be like i kind of want to shoot my shot so very very interesting but i do feel like there's just something like maybe they just seen you you know when you were visiting family or something or maybe you guys still live at from your hometown but you know you just never really crossed paths and you recently they recently just saw you but anyways um i do feel that this person um feels like you guys have a lot of values like this person feels like maybe you have similar upbringings um let's see Aquarius, there's another Aquarius placements too as well. Cancer too, it makes sense. This person could be very, like, yeah. I could see the Cancer in this person, George's hair is on here. Maybe you guys both like pets because I just talked about George's hair. Um, Yeah, I could see this person being a Cancer because this is something about you guys that kind of like, talks about their heartstrings. Um, they could be very, they could really love where they come from or you guys could be from the same like background or you guys could be the same, could have the same like, a similar thing that you guys both have but at the same time you guys also have big goals and dreams like you could also yeah i'm hearing used to have a little now i have a lot but no matter what i know where i came from it's something like you guys just like being they're like they're just like me like you know i'll never forget where i come from i don't know i never forgot where i came from either like i feel like i'm like them like you know so they see you guys and or they hear about the way that you are and they they just want a shot with you um yeah we also have libra here too close the door yeah now, the thing I do want to say, too, as well, is that this is a separate message I'm hearing. You've known someone from childhood that came back into your life randomly. Like, you may have felt like, oh, I just ran into them. Or you may have felt like they just randomly hit you up. They're like, yeah, I just hit you up by chance. Or, oh, I just randomly found you. Like, no, 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 pod number 444. Four, four. This person definitely wanted to be with you from the jump since they met you. Like, I feel like it's that type of energy as well. Like, they just never shot their shot in the past because they didn't think they had a chance. But then you guys may have given them a chance. And this could be a, a relation to someone that you have broken up with or anything things with. That's another message coming through because of the fact that... um I just feel the energy of someone liking you for a long time or knowing you for a long time or watching you from a long time and then being interested in you for a long time. But they really needed to go through a lot of leveling up to even like be around you. And I think that they have been doing that and wanting to be doing that. And if this is the next that relates to, they still want to shoot their shot and come back. Um, but yeah, they, I feel that either you guys don't know who this person is. I want to say someone from your hometown or someone that lives in your town now, I, or whatever town that you're in. So if you have moved up from your hometown, then maybe this is their hometown. But there's something about them knowing you or been wanting you or liking you more than you guys have ever known or probably will ever know. So I'm hearing they probably take it to the grave because they're, they're quite um, embarrassed. Maybe if you guys get married a couple of years, they might tell you, you know, I actually been wanting you forever and ever and ever, you know. Um, so let's see what else we have. Yeah. Because I do feel that um, this person definitely feels that you're unique. You're one of a kind. They're very lucky to have met you. And hmm, I want to know what that closed gate is about. I feel like if you guys did close the gate in this person, and if you guys already had been together in the past, then you guys feel like this is a done thing. They don't want this anymore. But what you don't know is that they've been planning to be with you 
for their whole life. So they're not going to unplan that, you know? And if this is someone coming in, they're gonna come in as an energy where you're gonna be like, oh, so-and-so from high school? No way, you look great, I, I forgot all about you. But they really, they have it, you know? So that's kind of like a warning there. If you guys have someone that's coming in out of nowhere, like, oh, I was just searching random profiles and you came up. Mm -mm -mm. They were looking for you. There ain't no coincidence, you know? And I feel that, yeah. Some of you guys, like they heard through someone else that you go to a certain spot or you're around, like they, they definitely are, 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 are fantasizing about, you know, making it seem like, oh, just chance or just luck that you guys are coming together. But I think they are really trying to get their weasel their way in there, you know, or back in there. Because uh, I do feel like this person um, definitely wants a reassurance that they can um, have a shot here or another shot. This is a past person. Yeah, it can just be a king of cups, so a queen of cups. Yeah, this person feels like you guys are a good match. For sure. Very interesting. Yeah, I feel for some of you guys, like, this person could have found you through a mutual friend that was talking about you and added you, or even date, you may have dated someone they knew in the past. Like, there's just something about somebody talking about you to this person that made them feel like you would be their soulmate. <laughs> like, I know this sounds crazy, but, or them watching you online in the way that you are. Because there's something about the void here of you being like, Either this is going to be the cutest thing in the world or this is going to creep me out, you know? It's either going to be one or the other for you guys, honestly, depending on how this person's coming in because they can completely be misreading this, you know? But I feel for some of you, like, it, this could go so far as, like, somebody insecure was talking badly about you to this person and you guys have mutuals and they're like, oh, like, I kind of, I'm, I'm interested in, like, seeing what this is about. And they added you just to kind of, like, curiosity. But they ended up really liking you. Um, and I picked up this energy for you guys a lot. So this could happen to you guys, especially if you have interesting things going on and you're beautiful and you're amazing. Because people usually sit around talking about you or probably people that have some sort of weird, you know, jealousy or whatever. So, um, yeah, I feel we have, um, like, there's maybe a couple here. Like, your parents were talking about you to them. Like, maybe this person works with your parents. Um, this could make ring a bell for some of you. Like, I feel like uh, this person definitely feels like they, someone should, should have hooked them up with you and they didn't, you know? So some of you guys were like, I didn't want that, you know? But I also feel like this person probably should just shot their shot themselves. So I think they made their own mistake of waiting too long if you guys are not interested anymore. Because if you guys didn't get to a relationship and they're waiting for that person to mess up and now they're coming in. But there's something about somebody that was just waiting for so long and they, they want to come in now. And maybe when they had the chance, they were insecure uh, this could definitely be paired up with another pile. Like if it's the next, this is like how things like started off and ended or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's all I want to say here. You definitely have someone here that is still planning on shooting their shot, you know, no matter the distance or, you know, no matter what's going on here. Um, this person definitely probably found out about you through or found out about what you're doing recently through somebody. So if this is a past person you had a thing with, you recently came up in conversation or they found out you were single still and they want to come back in. You've recently popped up in this person's mind with intensity because maybe um, somebody said something about you to them or originally someone said something about them to about you to them and that's what made them interested in you. So this is gonna be someone that appears like, oh, I just wanted to check up and see how you're doing, but they've always intended on shooting their shot. You know, or this is somebody that, oh, you know, hey, like um, they'll make up an excuse to talk to you, like, you know, like something random, like, hey, I'm trying to get clients for my business. Like, you know, are you interested in this? Or that? Like just like not, Anything you would think, you know, is related to them wanting to to be around you or uh, try to run into you places and just like introduce themselves and be like, oh, yeah, do I know you from somewhere? But like they actually do, you know, so this is someone that definitely really likes you guys, but they definitely have invested a lot of energy without really you guys knowing this. Like this is something that will take you probably by surprise. Um, I'm getting a message a lot, so I feel like it's going to be like the retrograde or something. Things are surfacing. Um, union, yeah. And destiny, yeah. This person feels like you are their destiny. I'm hearing the Jaiho Jai song, you know, from Slumdog Millionaire. Um, you're my destiny. Yeah, I think that, that this person, like, 
knows things about you that makes them really feel like you got the same core values. Like they could really be missing the mark here. They can know your parents and have mutual friends or whatever. But some of you guys, like it's actually funny because it's like somebody insecure was like complaining about you saying, oh, this person, like they always want to work all the time. They never, and, and they're just like, I want to go out together. And they never want to talk to guys. Like they just want to be all stuck up. They just want someone with standards. And they're like, oh, that sounds like a good option to me. Like, you know, someone could have been like mouthing off about how you are or comp complimenting you. Like, oh my gosh, have you seen so-and-so from high school? They're doing so well. They look so good. And check it out. Yeah. And they show them like, whoa, <laughs> like, yeah, I like that. You know? So, um, that's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else we have going on here. Uh, this person's going to be coming in with an offer for sure. For sure. But yeah, this person thinks you're their dream person, but they're just afraid of, you know, they're just looking for some reassurance that you're like attracted to them at all, I think. So that's why they may try to run into you or just kind of feel the situation out, or they may have tried to get someone to hook, hook them up with you or someone else to invite. Like this person could have tried to have someone else invite you somewhere so that you guys can meet, but like it not look like it was that. I think that's what it is. Or they could be trying to just run into you. Um, by chance and that's that's what I'm seeing but you or this person may be like oh I just accidentally texted the wrong person but I, they actually meant to text you um so that's what I'm seeing for you guys best I ever had so yeah so you guys this is indeed an ex oh my god well uh oh oh no for some of you guys this is like okay for some of you guys it's like a friend of someone you dated like a while back because I see like something backfiring here, which my divine ocean of people always like, someone may have shot their shot at you or you guys may have had a fling or date this person. And they may have been like bragging about like how good you were looking and how hot you are. Or oh, look at this person I'm trying to get with and they showed this person there. And then they were like, ooh, add, like I want a shot now, you know? And I think that like, that's what like will come as a surprise because, and if this is a release to, like an ex where you feel like this is how they always felt and they still feel they're coming back, then of course this is why. Um, my plan backfired. Yeah, I feel like this person may have tried already um, to run into you and, and all that stuff, but it may have not been working. I like hearing you talk. Yeah, again, some of you guys have public profiles. You do entertainment of some kind. You do video content like myself. Or, um, yeah, I just feel like there's something about this person listening to you, but you guys not knowing they're still listening to you. And so I guess it's the next where they still listen to the stuff that you put out there. So I don't know if that's going to make you uncomfortable or happy, but we have to avoid there because some of you guys is the next you don't want anything from, especially if you're dating from your hometown and it sounds familiar. And it's kind of like the story where you kind of always knew they had a creepy obsession with you, whatever, whatever story ended or whatever. But like the void is there. It's like, they know nothing is going to come out of it. So they just watch and you're feeling it to, to the other extent where you have a secret admirer that that's coming out of the, the void, you know? <laughs> to be like, I like you, you know, and you guys may never know that they've been really admiring you for quite some time now because they're going to take it to the grave. Um, but yeah, this is somebody that I feel will pop in and make it so casual. But in reality, they are will celebrate their their ass off, you know, if they can even get a shot with you because they, you are like their dream person. And this is why they want to come in or come back. You are the one I want to end up with. See, you are boring. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys, uh, it's just gonna be very, this could be toxic because the reason why you guys don't ex expect this is because this could be someone you have known to be in a long relationship with someone else or last time you checked up they were in a relationship and that's why I feel like you kind of blocked it out. For like myself, if I see anyone in a relationship or I hear someone in a relationship, then I'm not interested like at all. And so that's why I feel like the void is there. Like you guys could have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra, just not even thinking about this, but that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Let's see if you get some initials, a C. An O, an N, a T, an R, an O, and an L. Taking back power, releasing control. Yeah, uh, we got a P there as well. A B, an A, back power. Yeah, some of you guys, this person wants you back and that relates to that. This is more like the past energies. So you guys, it's more like um, this person got your back because they saw other people talking about you and they, they want to come in and, and they like you, you know? And I feel for some of you guys, this is somebody that um, maybe got back. Like they heard someone else bragging about you. They looked you up, especially if you guys are public and hot. And they said, oh, <laughs> I want that person. They, but I definitely feel like you've known this person in the past. So when they come in, you either would have known of them or heard of them or met them. Or it's not going to be like, oh, I don't know who this person is at all. It's more like you don't see this person coming. That's more like this void energy. Um, and some of you guys, this is already happening. And this is an explanation. Some of you guys have suspicion that someone has come in or come back. And this is what's going on the whole time. Like, hmm, I kind of feel like this person like may have... It just seems kind of coincidental that I always ran into them or they always, or they just hit me up out of the blue, just randomly found my number. That sounds kind of weird, you know? Yeah, definitely trust your intuition. Somebody could have definitely likes you or likes you or still likes you and they're not showing that. 
right now or they didn't show that because the door was closed. They felt like, you know, this person may have felt like in the past they didn't really have a chance and they didn't want to take a shot, but now they want to, or they felt like they really messed up and they want a second chance and they're not showing it. So maybe this person like, like blacking out their energy, like hiding out until they want to pop out. Something about that. So it could be romantic, could be cute, it could be creepy. Family and travel. Yeah, this person really likes your family values, okay? Some of you guys moved away from your family town, but you were visiting, they saw you, you think you look good. Uh, this person, um, yeah, I just feel like that's the family thing. I don't know, fourth house is there. They kept fourth house placements. Family values I'm hearing they like about you. So something about knowing your family or knowing of you through family or just watching you online. Maybe you guys talk about your family a lot or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like this person definitely sees you as like uh, just like them without you guys really really realizing that and some of you someone from your past that grew into this energy where they realized that they are a lot more like you than they thought especially if this is someone you dated when you were younger and they then they learned the hard lesson because it's like they they did they thought the grass was greener and it wasn't so this is really gonna uh, you know resonate depending on your situation but uh we got aquarius a libra sag and cancer energy coming in strong i also see fourth house um Water moons for sure, Sag moon, Aquarius moon, Libra moon, also uh, Venus, Pisces I'm hearing too as well. So yeah, I feel like this is like something you don't see coming, but with the closed gate and celebration, first class, yeah, this person feels like you're their first choice, their dream person, and you always will be. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing there and see what else we have here. The fans, yeah, I do feel like this person's low key, high key a fan of you. And they don't want to come across that way. So they're never going to tell you that they are listening to you or your content or or they're stalking you if you guys don't make content. But I, again, I always say you guys are light workers and healers. You have this energy where people just become fans of you because you're just like, uh, you have a, a light to you. You guys belong on stage and shining no matter what it is that you're doing. And even if you guys, uh, this person met you through school or whatever, you have always liked to watch you, I think, in, in person for some of you guys. Just always had a big old crush on you. And they just felt like there was an obstacle here. Um... And for some of you guys, maybe it was distance, like you now you move back to where you can't, where you come from, or for some of you guys, um, that you moved near this person, their neighbor, but whatever, guys. I feel like finally this person's gonna come and make an offer. Some of you guys already have an idea about this, but again, it just kind of sounds like delusional until it happens because you could feel this. You're like, why am I okay? Some of you guys have been dreaming about someone from your high school. You're like, why am I dreaming about this person? Like, yeah, you're not crazy. Like, this person's thinking about you guys and watching you guys online or whatever. And some of you guys, like, you just have this person keep popping in your head. Why am I thinking about Johnny over here? You know what I mean? Or, or Susie or or Chris Chrissy or Toddy, you know, I don't know, I'm making a maze, but maybe they ring a bell, you know. Why am I thinking about Philip? Gerald. I don't know, whatever. Communicate clearly, yeah. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I definitely see someone um, wanting an opportunity with you guys and they're going to try to get it. So your intuition is telling you who this person is, but you may not believe it because it hasn't really manifested because it doesn't seem, there's no proof of it, you know, yet. Or this is somebody that you do have in your life, but they're not telling you this and they're leaving no crumbs and no proof about it because this is someone that it's going to be creepy. You know, I'm just let you in on a little secret, you know, they don't want you knowing about this and they probably will never let you know about this. Even if this is a past thing, they're going to be like, just checking up, seeing how you're doing. But really they were like, I've been waiting for this moment my whole entire life. Oh my God, you know? And so you guys, they will try to use a mutual link to get to you. So uh, that could be toxic AF or it could be cute, depending on the situation. So I do hope you guys like this message. Bye guys. Okay, pile number 555. Five, five. Let's get into it. I automatically started hearing lyrics before this pile. And it kind of like merged with the last pile, but I feel like it's more this one. But if you were attracted to four and five, I definitely feel like these can kind of intertwine. It's just a lot of that energy has been happening lately. And I want to mention it because a lot of you guys be like, oh my God, I did pick those both those piles. Or if not, no problem. But for those that did, definitely check it out. But um, hearing this lyric, it's high enough. K fly. I don't like anyone better than you. It's true. I'd cry a mile. I'd crawl a mile in a desolate place with the snakes just for you. Yeah, so this person got it bad for you guys, five, five, five. And they will feel like they, they feel like they do just about anything for you guys. Like I'm even hearing like an intensity of this person, like, but let's see what else is going on here because sometimes like these people are just dramatic, but sometimes it really is like somebody who really got it bad for you guys, like crazy and it's your person. So let's see what's going on here. All right, so we, we have somebody here who, Definitely is manifesting, you guys. So 555, five, five, this is not going to come as a surprise to you because you're seeing signs like like crazy about this person, like a lot, like everywhere you turn. There's one, there's one, there's one, like their birthday, their number, the car they drive, everything about them, they're in your dreams. Like this person definitely 
really wants to be with you, wants to be around you. And I feel for some of you, this is not somebody that you want anymore. And that's why this is maybe gonna come across as, oh no, but I feel this is someone in the past that did try to buy your love or will try to buy your love if they haven't already. Yeah, I definitely feel that this is somebody that wants to come back into your life or they wanna make a move now because they feel like they have the financial means to do that. This person, there could be an age gap here because we have the mature man, the younger female. So yeah, this is somebody who I feel you could be a bit older than them or they could be a bit younger than you. There's an age gap here, but if there's an age gap and you're the older one, this person wants to prove to you that they're mature for their age. Yeah, because with the magician there, like this person's trying to be what you want them to be. And I feel like this could be like very cute if this is like someone who has a crush on you. This could be kind of like OD oh, if this is like someone from your past that you've already kind of ended things with. Because some of you guys, I do feel that this is someone you have an age gap with um, that you had a relationship with, like an ex or ex husband, and they want to come back and you know shower you with gifts. So you know, watch out. But I feel five five five. This person feels as though they've gone through some positive changes and now they have a shot with you. And I feel that you guys could be the same age, but you dated a while ago as well. Something about a gap here that's coming across. So um, maybe that will resonate because we have, a, um, yeah, the five of wands. I feel like you and this person, there there was conflict in the past um, with this connection or this person may have had obstacles. Um, this is somebody that definitely has fought someone else about you or over you or will do it. Five, five, five. So again, you got a little crazy energy here. I, I was already seeing it coming, you know? And then we have, I don't even look at these cars. We got this, you know, these kangaroos fighting people. Maybe you got into a fight with this person too. Maybe this person's Australian because there's kangaroos there, but that could only uh, resonate for some people. Um, I feel with this, um, five, oh yeah, maybe you got into a fight with this person too. Maybe this is coming back with like something to prove, you know? That's why I feel like you may have gotten into a fight with this person or bruised their ego. Um, but I feel that this person sees you as somebody that they want to work on things with and they do not want you to leave their life. Yeah, we got the star here. So this is someone that really finds you to be like, this is an obsession energy, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This person's obsessed with you guys. And I think that a lot of you guys do have this like ability to manifest and look really good because there's something about you guys like they think you're aging backwards or you look better than when you guys met or you look younger than when you guys met so something about when you met this person you glue up like crazy and i do think they always liked you but there's something about this person getting like even more obsessed with you over time because of the way that you guys are looking better and better and better and i do feel that this person has always liked you and has tried to shoot their shot in the past as well but there's something about this person coming in stronger lately because of the way you guys are shining and they want to swoop you up before anyone else can have you because they do feel like you are putting yourself out there more. I'm hearing, um, Drake, you're starting to wear less and go out more. They're hearing things about you if they don't have a social media or having social media. Uh, but I do feel that this is definitely maybe like a past ex or ex-husband. I'm hearing some of you that hears that you're out now or you look really good or you look younger, you're aging backwards. Some of you guys, are using subliminals or you're you're manifesting or you just got rid of them <laughs> you know this person definitely could be obsessive but some of you guys it's like a new person and they want to look mature because i'm thinking like two different energies here some of you guys i feel like you may have two different people into you like one person who's younger than you who is trying to show you that they could be the person that you want them to be but you may not take them seriously because there's quite a gap here i'm hearing like five six years cats are running around and and for some of you guys it's like you didn't take them seriously when you were younger because they were much older than you um, but I, I'm definitely feeling both. Honestly, 555, you got a lot of people who, who do like you guys. Okay, well, this is coming through in a lot of the readings. It makes sense. But um, I do feel that maybe you met them in public setting or in an environment, Three of Cups, where it was you maybe worked with them or hmm, this is a situation where I feel that someone may have felt like it was inappropriate for you guys to date, but this person doesn't care. So that can go either way, guys. I'm not saying this person's a creeper. It could go either way. Like you guys could be the older one here and you're like, this is not appropriate. Yeah. I'm not saying illegal or anything like that, but maybe it's through work or whatever. But maybe looking back at it, like this is someone from your past that you dated when you were younger and you, there was an age gap, but looking back at it, you feel like this person was kind of inappropriate for liking you back then. That could be also it too, because I feel with the two of swords there, like you did block out this person for a certain reason, whether, um, yeah.
it's definitely a lot of competition for your guys' attention right now, 555. You guys want to go back and watch my 1055 pile from last week because I'm seeing you guys are having a major glow up and it's actually making people go crazy behind the scenes, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are proof of magic and gifts and talents. You make people believe in magic. You're the magician. You are the magician. And it makes people want to be the magician for you. They want to show you that they can show up and they can be popping and they can manifest. And like I said, if this is like relates to like the pile number like... Maybe there's a pile, like, number one person. And there was another pile where, I forget now, but there's a pile where that person was trying to make it seem like they had it going on, too, and all this stuff. Like, it can come out as toxic, you know? Like, it can make you jealous or upset with them for the way they're acting. But I do feel like it all comes down to these people wanting to show you that they could be like you because people definitely are seeing you guys glow and shine. And they want to be part of your world. And I do feel that even if this doesn't resonate with an ex, your exes want you back, like 555, just because of how good you look. Even if they didn't want you back or they, they said they didn't, now they do, you know? Even if you guys are not even checking for them or care about that, I feel that people are really watching you guys right now. So keep up the good work. You're manifesting like crazy, guys. A better version of yourself and you are shedding your skin and becoming better and better and better and better. Not to say there's anything wrong with you in the past, but you guys are on this spiritual um vibe here it's got people like turning their heads um and i feel heartbreak sweetness not the right time yeah i feel 555 that yeah this person there's someone here actually two people here two to five people wow 555 you guys must have to cleanse every night <laughs> you have a lot of people here honestly because i'm like one two three four five five three to five people all right an x I'm seeing an ex or a past ex or your most significant ex I'm hearing is, the, is here. Um, yeah, or your ex-husband from you guys. Um, who else is here? Someone younger than you, five years younger than you, three to five years younger than you, okay? And they want to come back because they feel like now you might see them as mature. Some or some, yeah, definitely that. Uh, somebody that you guys got into a fight with because of... Yeah, you got to fight with somebody too over something and they want to make it right. Oh my gosh, so much energy here. You guys may have to watch the whole reading. I'm just saying, I'm not even just saying that. Like, oh my, oh my gosh, there's a lot here. But the main message is it, it, you got an obsessive ex, but you, I may be even trying to push that out. It's just coming in. But there's something about you guys looking really good. And just like, I think you guys are trying to go for your dreams and people could feel that in you. And it's like making people crazy because if you did have possessive and controlling exes that, you know, I'm hearing that one song, I don't like living under your spotlight. Just because you think I might find someone worthy. Well, you guys are getting out in that spotlight and you are going to find somebody worthy. Definitely. And I'm actually seeing like a lot of people coming in now because they're like, oh God, I got to rush because I think you guys are heading towards a divine union. But you got a lot of people that are, are now willing to compete. Now you're ready to compete, you know, and I, I'm seeing that. But some people, they just took themselves out of the running until they, you know, can get it together to do that or emotionally heal or they realize, you know, they're missing out here depending on your situation. Because some of you guys, I do feel that there's some energy of some people like, hmm, so-and-so is actually just looking pretty good now. I think I want to shoot my shot now. Or they hear that you're looking really good. Because some of you guys, like, there's some people coming towards you that you're like, hmm, I'm pretty sure that that you weren't interested. But now they're interested. It's like, hmm, I don't like that too much. Because you guys had a major glow up and it's like, now they want you. It's not that they weren't interested in the past, that now you're not dragging your feet. Or now all of a sudden you want to wipe it up. No, thank you. But you're going to see a lot of this coming up, 555. I'm just saying, be prepared. I'm hearing a, be prepared. I'm hearing um, Lion King. <laughs> I feel like somebody's a Leo here. Um, sweetness, heartache. You guys are, you know, doing the fifth house thing, stepping out, being creative. Um, some of you guys are getting getting out there, you know? And everyone's hearing about it. Everyone's talking about you. Some of you guys may be annoyed. Like, I'm hearing that people are talking about you, spreading gossip. But, hey, you know what? It's all out of you guys looking good, okay? People are saying you're looking good. And I, I, last week I kept repeating that a million times and like I keep repeating it this week. So you guys must have to hear it. Like, okay, we get it. But I, I don't know why it just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. So this is why you guys may see um, or feel delayed responses from people in the past. Like you may feel lately, why am I feeling this person's energy? Like now they're sad over this? Yeah, because now this is a telltale sign. They've lost you forever. They don't even, some people don't even think they have a shot with you anymore, but I would do anything if I could, you know, and you're going to see um, a few people coming in here. I'm hearing three to five people. Good luck, guys. Uh, some of these people already are coming in or coming up or coming around or you're, or you're seeing um, at least one of these people coming through. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah. Now, what I see as well is that um, you guys are also going to be getting a lot more money coming in too. Um, there's going to be like a job offer coming. I know it has nothing to do with like, but no, it does 555 five, five, because I feel like one of these people to get your attention, they may offer you something of value, like a job or a gig or something like that, or 
to network or something or yeah that could be a hint too let's see what else we have opening up yeah okay so we have an x coming back here for sure five 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 there's an x wanting to come in and open up about the past and how they messed up and how they've been hearing how good you're doing and uh, the magician is there, 555, five, five, because I don't trust this person, okay? I don't trust them because I feel like you've given them a lot of shots. And I just feel like they you, you they just are chaotic. Like, this person may also just cause problems out of control and jealousy, or they may have done that in the past. And I think that some of you guys need to have this conversation with this person just to kind of get that closure. Some of you guys have been done this a million times. Or if you don't have an ex, like, your past most significant fling, I'm hearing. Because they're going to be like, oh, it's just the wrong timing for us. But you're like, no, I'm pretty sure that you let me go and I glue up. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Let's see. What else? Yeah, union. Okay. Um, a few people want to wife or husband you guys up right now. But again, I feel like you guys um, need to align yourself with somebody that has the same mindset and lifestyle as you. So you're not kept in a box because you're meant to be doing big things. Five, five, five. This change you're going through is the universe pushing you through it. So you may have felt like you were out on your own and you had to go through a lot of things and you were kind of forced to go through transformations. You've been working yourself, but this is actually divinely orchestrated because of where you're going. You're going through a huge transition and a lot of your past energies that have no business being part of your future are trying to come in and fight their way in there. And I think it's the angels too trying to fight people off. They're like, ah, oh, this person has things they need to do. They're going places, but there's definitely someone coming through. They're gonna break the wall and they are going to break their silence and be like i want to work on this and that's what i'm seeing in x here but i don't know i see you guys being ice queen i see divorce here you could have divorced this person or your breakup was very intense like a divorce because there was about i feel like there was a um very significant breakup that was very dramatic um and that was it but now they want to come back soulmate yeah one of these people they're definitely your soulmate guys but just because they were your soulmate doesn't mean you got to be with them as well change yeah you guys changed i feel like they're gonna realize that you changed a lot since they could have criticized you like you changed since i've known you you know but for some of you guys they barely even knew you at all because they're so self-absorbed we got the magician there so somebody tells you this person may have presented something that wasn't true and you guys ended so if they have the you know denial here they could be in denial about being like that but if they have the tendency to be that then i don't really feel like this person yeah, some of you guys, 555, five, five, I see as well that you were in a situation ship for a while and this person couldn't give you commitment and now all of a sudden they want commitment. Watch out for that. Once you start moving forward and good things are happening to you, watch out for that, guys, 555, five, five, because it's a difference between someone who is working on themselves and um, for, versus somebody that is hanging on to your energy and not giving you anything that you desire and just being codependent and, and, and kind of like a user and then all of a sudden they change when you start walking away yeah that's definitely just a manipulation because i'm seeing the magician there and it's like there's a lot of desperation going on here 555 five, five, but people desperate to get you back to where you used to be and you're not there anymore but all of a sudden you know people are going to want to be opening up about how they feel and all these things and you guys could definitely give people the platform to do that but just use discernment because some of these energies are not coming with good intentions not to say they have bad intentions but it's more selfish because it's like they are just really hurt and upset that you're moving on and it's an ego thing and it's also just because some of these people are just not the best people for you and you've been down this road with these people and it hurt you so why would they okay five 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 so it's funny because i definitely need an upgrade for this camera because it keeps having issues with just like randomly running out of storage even though it had enough space before and I, I actually feel like with this pile, it's like I'm hearing this one song. This is all we know. Like, we passed the end, but we chased forever. Like, this is someone that I feel like you had a lot of love for and a lot of good memories with, whether they were chaotic. But I feel like there was definitely love there. And I feel like the chapter has closed. And it's like you guys just upgraded yourself too much. And this person and you no longer are in sync anymore. And maybe in a different timeline, a different lifetime. But this person and you are not in sync. And you guys have to go off and do better things. And this person is not evolved enough to be with someone like you and where you're going. They won't be able to handle it. You know, they have a lot of issues is what I'm hearing. And again, there's multiple energies coming in here. So um, I feel you guys could pick other piles or I'll try to zero in on some of the other ones. But I'm definitely getting a significant x or or fling where they're just never gonna be able to keep up with you guys and it's not not the right time it's never gonna be the right time that's what i'm hearing because they're never gonna be like i'm like gasping like this person is very dramatic like they're very actually i don't want to say they're dramatic like honestly this is the biggest heartbreak for them the biggest heartbreak of their lifetime 
and I feel that they'll probably never recover from it because you guys gave this person probably the world and I'm hearing I miss like sleeping next to you and all these things um yeah I keep gasping oh my gosh like this person's energy I'm gonna have to stage after this like it's very very oof. this person may have a lot of anxiety based um issues and yeah, I'm hearing like they need a therapist more than they need a, a wife, you know, but I think they're very stubborn. Maybe they refusing to do that or they just sometimes people just have like a lot of deep city issues that it's just not your place to be with someone like that because they're not going to be able to handle. I think this person is very possessive and jealous and yeah, or they just are not working on themselves like they need to. And yeah, they just have a lot of um, issues or family issues or uh, it's not even that that's the main thing. It's just that they make their problems your problems and you can't be with someone like that. You need someone who adds to you. And it's just this person is constantly like almost like a full time job, like dealing with them or you felt like it was like a full time job when you were when they were in your life. So we got good vibes. Mm -hmm. You guys did have good vibes at certain points. But I think when you guys started to level up or glow up, uh, this person definitely had a really hard time with that. And they're they're still having a hard time with that. But they don't want to lose you forever. And they feel like, well, no one's going to love you like I do. I'm hearing that one song. I hope you don't get famous. Always hear that song um, when I do these readings. Or no one's going to love you like I do. Stay home with me. Da, da, da. It's like, no, you know, you guys are healing past that part of yourself that needs somebody there. Maybe there was a part of you that was attracted to that energy because they... They created a home space for you. Whether or not it was a safe space, I don't want to say that. But this person was like home to you at some point. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing one song. You used to run down the stairs to the door when I thought you were there. Like, I feel like you used to get really excited when this person came home from work. Like, I'm feeling some really like sweet, genuine energy here. But some of you, you're like, no, that was just me being young and dumb, you know? <laughs> like, I get it. But this person eyes, like, they still love you and um they feel like they're oh i'm mature now you know i'm more mature i could give you what you want i could give you what you want back then now i have a better job or now i'm i'm, I'm healing myself or and you're just like mm -mm. i don't think you guys are into this anymore this is someone i think that you guys are gonna be like no i blocked you <laughs> go away <laughs> or you might have to co-parent or something for me if there's kids involved but they're it could be manipulative like they could try to tug at your heartstrings a little bit and i feel like that could just be it like they know this is over with but they're gonna be like how could you do this like we had a family, but they're the one who probably messed up. Because you guys, I know you guys are my romantic, hopeless romantics. You wouldn't be here if you, you aren't, you know? Even the ones that in the comments like, Alice, I don't care about these men. You know, deep down, there was a time when you did, you know? When you did care about this person a little bit, you know, okay? Uh, but and maybe it's probably they still want somebody or something better. But you, you found yourself outside of a relationship with this person. Or you found someone better. Some of you guys, I really feel like if this is a past person that you you know it feels this way but hasn't talked to you they're coming in when you're with somebody else and i really don't like that energy because no i just don't like it you know because it's very much it gives very much if i can't have you no one else can you know and they're giving me very much this energy yes um because this person i feel like either way whether they're you know younger or older uh for a lot of you guys it's definitely someone who knew you or, or they're there's definitely someone who knew you when you were younger and they they're very attached to the younger version of you that you're no longer that way and they're stuck on that and you're not that person anymore and they may want to i feel like you guys maybe if you need to talk open up and have that conversation so you guys you've been down this road a million times and you just don't want this person being obsessive again because i think that they are very obsessive uh, but i feel like yeah this person if they're not interested in traveling and going places and doing things and that's the way that you guys are that's an incompatibility like this type of person that may be just very content with you know you just laying up every day but you guys got things you want to do and places you need to go that's why compatibility is such a big factor even if this person didn't do anything that harmful to you some guys they, they were very toxic but they still loved you in their own sick way move over george this cat is killing me don't say nothing all right Forgive and learning, yeah, attraction, romantic feelings, yeah. This person feels like you guys can move past the things in the past, but I just don't think you guys want to anymore. But I do feel you got a few people coming in. So one of these is a past person that that really is dramatic. Like, I really feel that, no, I don't want to say dramatic because my heart hurts. Like, they hurt, they're hurting. <laughs> like, I don't want to say they're dramatic because this is, this is really painful for them. You were like home to this person and oh, they were like home to you. And it, you know, humor is here, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this person misses like you guys are very funny and you brought so much light into their life and they miss your jokes and they miss like your crazy 
ways <laughs> that is what I'm hearing. I don't know if that rings a bell. This person, <laughs> yeah, um, they're grieving. Someone's grieving, you guys. Could be very delayed because sometimes people don't realize what they have till it's long gone. Like maybe some of you guys, they heard you were with somebody else and that really just did them in. Or they heard that you're happy because I'm hearing it clearly doesn't tear you apart anymore. Like this person knew that you were upset over them, I think to an extent. But now it, it clearly doesn't bother you anymore because it's like they want to fight like all these other better things going on in your life. Final two, we keep getting this car for every single pile. Guys, you got options. This person, there's someone here who has not, they're not even making it to the final two. They need to accept it. You have even made it to the final two. Like the pile number three person has a chance. They didn't know. But this person, they are not, they're not making it to the final two. But I feel like you guys do have two people that are coming after you as well. So this is a pile where you're going to pick more than one even if you feel drawn to this one first. And there's a lot of people that they're, they're definitely gonna be coming in. And I think that you guys are heading towards some kind of um, union or you're in one soon, or you're talking to somebody who may be the one, one of these options here. And yeah, I feel like it, this person, uh, even if you don't really want to travel for your, your life, I feel that they're willing to go distance. They're willing to make things work. They're willing to be patient. They're willing to do the things that everybody else is no, that wasn't able to do. And there's a difference between someone who is just constantly pining over your energy and being there and not giving what you need versus someone that is patient and taking their time. And oftentimes, if you don't heal, you won't know the difference. Because it's something that I had experienced as well. Like the narcissistic, the, the uh, abusive, toxic relationships, they may feel like it because it's like the attention is there and they're there and they're fighting, but they're causing the chaos and the drama. And that they, they're just addicted to toxicity or the person that can't commit but always has an excuse. It's the same old story versus someone that's genuinely trying to work on their connection with you. And you got a few of both here. And I feel that you guys are having a hard time seeing it right now because you're going through your changes, you're healing, but you'll be able to see who is who and what is what. So don't worry too much, but there's definitely things you're still not seeing very clearly right now. And I feel like there's also someone or a few people here with genuine intentions that you're not seeing clearly because of the fact that you've been through this magician energy and you guys have a star quality to you so you got people attracted to you because you're light some of you guys have a level of status or success attracted because of that your looks like you have a star quality so you have to learn discernment when it comes to energies and people and i feel like you're learning that right now and that's why you are keeping a distance and working on yourself um and healing so you can see clearly and you guys just got good energy too but a lot of people just feel like they love what they have with you and they want to take it a step further to the next level and this also a sign that if you guys are dating around Definitely slow down and don't overcommit right now because I feel like you should be committed to the money, committed to the travel, and then your soulmate should be committed to, you know, proving to you that they, they're the right person for you and not proving, not making you prove it to them, not forcing you in a box, not forcing you to keep, not giving you ultimatums. You got big things here to do and you're not meant to compromise that. Uh, yeah, I got the bachelor. Like, yeah, you guys are top tier, high value free-spirited don't let anybody rob you of that the right person is going to love you for you and work on if they're triggered by your free-spirited ways or your open-minded ways or your ambitious ways or your looks or whatever or your stark quality or all the above you guys are pure magic and you need someone that that embraces that magic and nurtures that magic and doesn't try to put that that flame out the silver lining through these connections is that you guys impact a lot of people in such a deep way just know that i feel like a lot of you guys are so bothered by a lot of this energy so don't forget to cleanse and stuff and Hey, it's not your fault. You got it like that. You got that good, good. She Michael Jackson. I'm hearing them. I can't make your bed rock. Yeah. Some of these past flings are like one last time for old time's sake. No, especially if you're not interested because um, soul ties, guys. Not the, not the shame, but I feel like you guys are really trying to separate your energy from this stuff. And guys, I seriously have worked so hard to get some people's energy out of my field, especially after spending quite some time with them. It's a lot of work. And if you do kind of open up those, those doors again, just know that you're going to have to redo some of that energy work, even if you are moved on. And also this person, whoever this person is, I wouldn't do that to them because <laughs> they, they'd probably cry. Yeah, not one last, even if they say one last time, I need to be the one who takes you home. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do it to them. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. Scorpio here. Scorpio energy, eighth house, Venus, eighth house, Aries. Mine, you're mine. Yeah, some of you guys, this person is, big, you know it's supposed to be dangerous. So be careful with that. Don't play around. Don't play with crazy. We got the villain here. Yeah, remember the bad times of this person. Remember what they did. Because sometimes you, yeah, forgiveness is great, but sometimes you gotta remember the crap that this person put you through. Because there's someone here that is that put you through crap, and I think you guys, you guys are having a hard time accepting. I think you have a few people that done 
some things but there's someone here you may have a hard time accepting the truth about them because of the love that's there and they could be in your life right now or from your past but it's just that you don't want to see that this person just didn't have doesn't have good intentions you know or they just turned bad or sour or did something wrong and you felt it um or they are doing yeah air sign here keep it chill in reverse and soul is a cry a lot of people just want you there because your energy is so addictive and of course when you're there always being that shoulder to cry on you're not focusing on your goals yourself your work and you got people that will elevate you and put you up on that pedestal the violent orchestrated people and then you got people that are like you're gonna be sleeping with the enemy guys um some of these people put you in your villain era your true love is not gonna put you in your villain era they're gonna repair the part of yourself that felt like you need to be the villain at all to protect yourself they're gonna make you feel the complete opposite so uh don't worry about that don't worry about getting to a relationship right now It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. And yeah, fear and peace. Yeah, I feel like right now you guys fear losing your peace more than anything else. So keep doing what you're doing. It's working. But you got a lot of people not at peace because you're at peace now. You know, it's funny. A win-win is in the forecast. A win-win is in the forecast for you guys. Keep going. Um, you could be dealing with the Libra too as well. A new start is coming. And yeah. Now, that being said, there's some good energies coming towards you that are working on themselves. And there's some energies of people that haven't and they're very very good at especially narcissistic people they're very good at adapting to every single like thing they need to do besides change every single thing they need to say every single thing they need to present they will do everything but change energetically so you'll feel the difference after a while i can sense these people coming from a mile away it's crazy and you probably are feeling it that's why you're feeling kind of crazy right now the late bloomer and you got some people here that just genuinely are working on themselves and, and taking some time here. Knight of Pentacles here, it could, an earth sign could be coming at you or someone with earth placements. We got destiny here. Yeah, you guys have a big destiny and I feel like, again, you are not meant to be somebody's emotional punching bag, shoulder to cry on, personal life coach, personal therapist, personal, you know, dominatrix, you know, their personal slave, their house maiden. You are meant to shine and be seen and noticed or someone that puts you on a pedestal and even you guys dream is to be a, a housemaid and you know you're gonna be the the star trophy wife that this person is excited about and makes you feel honored you know you're not gonna be you know put in in, in a cage or whatever you know but this few people will try to do it it's, if it's not a physical prison it's a mental one so um that's what i have you guys five 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 you definitely have a lot of people coming at you, you got a water sign here too as well uh someone's definitely um drinking thinking about you and i'm here i'm sorry, i can't stop drinking about you i'm also hearing as well uh you, you wouldn't know what heaven was if it wasn't for her so some of these people try to move on with other people there's other people or persons have caught on that these people are still um not over you especially still these people don't give themselves time to grieve uh, a lot of people are just unhealed and i want to remind you guys this that there's a difference between someone who's really in love with you versus someone who's just very unhealed and doesn't really know how to process their emotions and you're that person that has always been there for them and you need to know the difference because you deserve somebody that's working on themselves and their healing and i feel like you guys have gone through both and sometimes it's hard when there's a combination of someone that does have feelings for you with soul connection and also is in that energy where they're not giving time to heal and they're making all their problems your problems which is probably something you experienced a lot but anyway you guys have a lot of gifts and you are being gifted with this glow the shine um and a lot of good things coming in and of course these people messed up they were they were found to you know and just because they can't handle what you are and i do feel like um yeah there's gonna be maybe some conflict and uh, i feel like there's gonna be some people coming in maybe you know causing a little ruckus especially if you guys are getting into new connections and dating it finally putting yourself out there away from somebody that wasn't giving you what you needed so that's the main message here you got someone from the past and i really feel like the, like i would do anything for you like watch out for people because it's like i actually like put this on my instagram story you guys can follow me on that queen alice love but it's funny because it's like you would it's like you would you said you would die for me but you didn't live for me you know like this per this person would be dramatic and say something but you weren't even living for the changes that they needed to make so it's funny that they could be so dramatic now that they lost you um but that's just it some people just don't have the emotional capacity to self-reflect and grow from their pasts and they will say and do anything to have you back but deep down you guys deserve someone who's passionate about you and honestly um will be careful with your heart so that's what i'm seeing for you guys um not to say that you can't reconcile with someone from the past but you'll know the difference when you're done with this healing with this transformation so um, also, I feel like this person is not supposed to brush you or push you into anything. They'll be patient with you if you need healing, if you need time. 
And that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I have the Ace of Swords there. Yeah, you guys are going to be getting your get away from me knife out pretty soon because there's going to be a few people coming at you. So I do hope you guys like this message. The next season of your life is going to be very good. So some of you guys are going through, you know, a little bit of a tough time. Just know this is just a transformation. Just wait till you pop out, okay? And a lot of you guys are going through like a hermit mode. You're having people isolated from your energy right now. So you can kind of just go through the healing. Because the floodgates are going to open to, to close some of these chapters, to get closure, or to reconcile. But it's going to be at a time where you're ready to do that. Because sometimes even you guys are still angry. Maybe you're not seeing things clearly on both ends. So, um, yeah, I feel like right now you're meant to just kind of be in a lighthearted energy. But you got a few people that, you know, want to win you back. Or win you over for the first time. So, I do hope you guys like that message. Bye, guys. Also for that pile, I'm not really getting any initials because it's like the whole alphabet because there's so many people coming in there. But also you guys already know like who it is. Like it's not somebody that you're going to be like shocked about like some of the other piles. It's definitely energies of people that it's like typical of them to not let go of the past. You've known them to be like that. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Hope you guys like that message. Bye guys. Okay, 666. Let's hop right into the reading and find out. What energy are you feeling? What is going on here? Actually, it's crazy because I had Zodiac piles too as well that I put on the side and I didn't use the last pile for the last reading just because it was like so many energies. I didn't even realize I didn't pull. So now you guys get all the astrology cards that I have left. So we got Aries here, Scorpio, Leo, Moon. So this could be Moon signs, Rising Sun, Moon, Capricorn or Venus as well, Taurus, Sagittarius and Aquarius. Okay, so with this pile as well, I do want to mention that um, yeah, you guys definitely have uh, a little bit of a case of, um, evil eye going on. I like to mention this with this pile in particular, especially when I say the 666 energy is because, uh, you probably know this already because you are stepping out of your comfort zone, but you may have noticed an influx of maybe people paying attention to you or the opposite, maybe like staying away from you. You guys are definitely going through a huge transformation and, um, especially if you chose the last pile, a glow up as well. Let's see what else we have going on here. Who is coming towards you guys? Yeah, okay, 666, I, I do feel you guys are with the Four of Wands there. That's a traditional wedding card. You are heading towards a divine union that is gonna have a lot of people pressed. Like I just mentioned in the last pile too as well. So if you guys feel drawn to that, check that out because it's definitely in sync. And I feel that you guys are destined for a divine union that is gonna be making people like inspired, want to be like you power couple but also on the opposite end uh some people really are going to want what you have want your person your exes are going to be mad as well you guys are coming into this empress status I mean, you always had this energy but you're really remembering who you are and i feel like you guys definitely have just so much good things coming towards you that you don't even see it yet with the six of six i feel like a lot of you are being really hard on yourself right now and you may be experiencing a lot of evil eyes. So I feel your angels are requiring you guys to lay low. You may feel like things are not really happening or things are happening slow or even you're in a time period that you're not enjoying where you're at right now. But I feel you're in a huge transition. And right now, I do feel you guys are focusing on showing the world the real you. Like you're going through a change that doesn't necessarily amount to a money reward. Maybe it is for some of you. But for most of you guys, it's more like a transformation that is external internal before it really reflects on your outside world so you may be taking a lot of time out or doing things differently or just being called to try different things and you're not really seeing how it relates to the big picture but it really does because you're actually just following your intuition and your angels are having you do certain things or change up certain things or make a few changes for a big picture type of thing and it could have something to do with a future relationship or union post certain things show more of yourself, go certain places, make a move. I feel as though with this pile, you're being divinely guided and it's really important for you guys not to let opposition stop you, not to let people discourage you. Just keep doing what you're doing because I feel that even if it's not people on your path, it's like this energy sometimes of you guys feeling like you're not doing a good job or you're feeling like you're not good enough and you're just saying it's the complete opposite. You may need reassurance right now, but people are not giving that to you. So I'm going to give it to you. But also, uh, again, it could be energy of people putting some evil eyes. So definitely, definitely, definitely cleanse. I have a subliminal for uh, divine protection on my subliminal channel. I don't really post there as much anymore, but I find it to be very helpful, especially if you guys are in public eye or that's your goal. You guys already have an energy of divine feminine, divine masculine. So it's only a matter of time till you end up in a divine union. Divine feminists, divine masculines, 
often get the best pick of the lot because you guys are not looking for validation. You're looking to be the best version of yourself. And you've always been worthy of a divine union. It's just that I feel like you had to go through certain things in life in order to find out who you who you really are and what you're meant to do here as well. You guys have big purposes here. And I feel that you wouldn't have all this energy on you if you didn't. With the North Node there, you guys are stepping out of your comfort zone, making changes so that you go through a higher purpose. So, yeah. Wherever you're at right now is nothing to compare to where you're going. And I don't even care if you guys feel like you're old or too old. You're not. Because I feel like you have a lot of big, major, amazing things that are coming in that's going to be so amazing, so life-changing. So keep up the good work. Some of you guys have a Leo moon, a Capricorn moon, a Sagittarius moon, a Taurus moon, a Scorpio moon, or an Aries moon, or a rising sun or moon. Or you guys could be Aquarius as well. And I feel like you have these like big missions you want to do and you're not fulfilled. And that's okay. I feel like a lot of you, part of the reason why you're not fulfilled right now is because you know you're going places that you're not at yet. Or you have these dreams or you want to accomplish so much. But you need to know you're doing a great job. And whatever you're doing right now, you're, you are exactly where you need to be. So definitely the person coming towards you is the person that you guys are meant to be with. Or somebody that you're meant to be in some sort of divine union in. And I do feel that both you and this person are going to have to go through a set of challenges because of the fact that they're highly sought after and so are you. And of course, with that type of energy, there's going to be people that are jealous or try to get in the way. It's only natural if someone is attractive or has a high vibration or a big destiny that people are going to feel it off of them. And they also uh, feel it off of you. So we have someone here that I feel is making their way towards you. Yes, yeah, so let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah, I feel for a lot of you who have a new love on the way. Or somebody, um, hmm, perfect timing. Yeah, for a lot of you that um, definitely chose the last pile and you haven't really met anybody you feel like you have long-term potential with and you're tired of the past, this is definitely a sign you have a new love and you're prepping for a divine union, especially if you're getting signs about that. But there's like no one you can even imagine. I definitely see that. And for... Um, Another portion of you, I actually feel like you have met somebody that is going to be going the distance with you, but you guys are still learning how to love yourself. And I feel it's not because I don't want to say that you need to love yourself in order to have a relationship. That's not healthy. But what I do feel is that you just have a big purpose and your angels want you to realize what you're capable of before this person could uh, really come in. And I feel that if you guys have been doing that and you feel like this person is here, and they're just kind of like taking their time. You could pick another pile, could relate to them and what they have going on. But I also feel that this person simply does not feel ready for someone of your caliber. And I do feel that if you don't heal yourself, you can easily see this energy as them rejecting you or not liking you. But in all reality, it's them seeing you in a high light. And that's why it's so important for you guys to heal and realize your value and your worth. Because what you could take as rejection is actually divine protection or actually somebody just wanting to be their best version of themselves. And I feel that oftentimes people will take their time or take time apart or work on themselves in a slow, patient manner before they really come in with what they want to do. And I feel that if you feel like someone in your life is doing that, you're exactly right. And for a lot of you, if you feel like someone's coming in, you're exactly right. Because your intuition is telling you that you're headed towards a commitment. And this is going to last. And I feel that you guys don't want any more relationships that are going to be like chaotic or karmic. And so you are working on your best version of yourself so you can get exactly what you need here. Let's see what else we have going on here. This, this reading, I'm finding it hard to get through or this pile in particular. So I do feel that a lot of you guys need to actively cleansing your energy because not only do you have a lot of evil eye and gossip, there's also, like I was saying, past energies that are feeling this divine union coming on and hanging on to you for dear life. See what else we have here. Yeah, I feel 66. You guys are in a really good energy right now, but it's also a very unapologetic energy that it could get a lot of people pissed off because I feel you are naturally just cutting people off, not caring about what else is doing, detaching quick and fast from your old life. And I just sense there's a lot of people who sense that you no longer care about what they have going on. You no longer care about them. You no longer give an F about what who's saying what. And you guys are gonna do a drastic change in your life, whether it is a relationship that takes you to the next level or it is some sort of career opportunity there's going to be some big drastic changes coming in but the first changes that are happening within are with, inside of you so you guys starting to act different or you guys starting to look different or going through another awakening or starting to talk a different way or starting to speak up for yourself more 
You guys are on the path of showing the world the real you. And that is the path to your divine union because your soulmate won't be able to find you if you guys are not putting yourself out there and showing everybody who you truly are. And I feel as well, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about what would actually be the best possible partner for yourself. I learned a lot through my experiences. Honestly, what I thought that I wanted is not what I wanted at all. I always thought I wanted someone like very similar to me and oh my gosh, we can relate out so much. But honestly, the only similarity I want between me and the person I'm going to marry is the ability to empathize with me and someone who cares about my feelings and my emotions. But I actually rather this person have a lot of strengths that I lack because I do feel for a lot of you because you do so many things well and you have a big destiny. You often will want someone who has things in common with you, but then they realize that you guys are going to be going further with those things than they could ever. And it turns to a lot of dating people who are jealous of you or friendship people who are jealous of you. So I think you guys are doing a really good job learning yourself and learning what it is you actually need versus what you think that you want as far as friendships as far as jobs careers a lot of learning is going on here and you guys were definitely brought through a quick rapid transformations i was definitely mentioning that in my um reading last week so if it kind of repeated that it's definitely a message you need to hear but there's a bigger picture here and i feel like sometimes people see that before you even see it so if you guys are dealing with enemies or people that want to get in the way of your destiny and it's just getting very tiresome just know that the bigger picture is that because you're going to really be something big in this world or you already are and you're not seeing it 666 like if you guys are already successful in some regard a lot of people want your position in life actually i'm going to pull from my channel messages that i don't know where i put them but they're here somewhere okay well i can't find it right now but i did pull this message and it said a past loved one or a friend or pet is, is with you and cheering you on. So maybe some of you guys have went through a loss in your life recently or just in the past and you sense this person is around you. You have a lot of spiritual protection. You have a lot of angels and guides, but if you feel like you're still getting heavily spiritually attacked or heavily uh, a lot of things or a lot of oppositions are happening, you're like, where is my protection? It's there. That just means that your destiny must be really huge if you're still dealing with these types of things. And I feel as though you guys are going to get to a place where you do feel safe in a connection and you feel safe where you're at so you're headed there so even if you don't feel that way right now you're working really hard to get there and you're doing a really great job you're working through your fears as well right now you may be getting triggered a lot because it is retrograde of course you get this ring at a different time it doesn't really matter but right now you're being triggered a lot by the universe to make sure that you are where you need to be and you're going to see how much you've grown i know it could be really annoying but where you're going is like paradise and i feel like uh people could see that and i also see that um with this rejected energy a lot of people are already kind of like limiting themselves from your life and from your energy because they kind of know that you're going to be eliminating them down the line. And sometimes you go through periods of time where a lot of people end up kind of like acting up or betraying you. It's just because of the vibration going really, really high and you guys just um, kind of invoking that reaction from people or your angels just showing people your true colors. So you can kind of just like move on with it. I feel like they do that sometimes. They'll kind of just like put temptation or certain things in front of people's eyes so that you kind of see who, them for who they really are or or some kind of information will come out and you'll be like, oh, you know, or you'll just see something and be like, okay, well, they're not ready to be my life or they never will be ready or whatever. So instead of taking these terrible things happening at a rapid rate as something bad, just take it as a sign that something better is coming. Yeah, you guys are going to be being bold and making moves in your life. I feel as though the reading was about like who's coming towards you, but I actually feel like there's something far more bigger happening here. Like you guys are going to be in a divine union, but also there's like some sort of big faded change coming into your life that is going to definitely just change your life for the better. And I think you guys feel it coming. So you could be feeling a lot of energy just in general, but I also think the energy you're feeling is people from your past feeling this energy on you and you're feeling them feeling that energy where you're going towards your purpose you're stepping out of your comfort zone you're acting different you're talking different and they know that something's happening here like they're watching you because they feel that you guys are headed in a different direction Let's see what else we have going on here you guys had a lot of people try to bring you down but instead of feeling like a lot of people try to bring me down da, 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 da. it's almost like who am I that people want me down so badly? Like you guys don't realize the powerhouse that you are. It's keeping me forward and you'll see exactly what your angels are talking about. Or you already see it and you just need a little bit of a reminder that you are that B. Be assertive, yeah. During this chapter in your life, your angels are reminding you, don't be afraid to tell someone off. Don't be afraid to just tell people to get out of your way. 
you were actually building stamina to be assertive because I know where you're going. You still will need to be able to protect yourself in a sense, but you'll be able to understand why you're being prepped in this way. And a lot of you guys know that you want a certain um, outcome in your life or you want to be in a very happy power couple dynamic. So you know that you got to do this, this work on yourself to get there. Or a lot of you guys know that you want a, a really big career and destiny where you're being seen and noticed and you know, you're going to have to deal with that. So the prep makes sense, but at times you just get very tiresome, like all this, um, energy of like darkness and you're just feeling like is this all there is to life but it's not and i feel no you're not meant you're not this to just be heartbroken all the time just be everyone's personal punching bag to just be like everyone's personal healer therapist or whatever it is you guys are experiencing you're just meant to go through a lot of different experiences so that either a you can help a lot of people through it or b you can be in the right position of power and nothing can ever destroy you when you're at the top or wherever it is that you want to be at and also as well so that you're the healthiest and the best mindset to meet your soulmate or be with your soulmate yeah we got new love coming in again so a lot of you guys are going to be meeting a new love very very soon and that's what you're feeling coming and i think that that's what other people around you are feeling coming and a lot of you just don't really realize how amazing and attractive you are because i also have like the devilish energy here too as well like you guys have this energy where people do really obsess over you and they don't want to see you move on from them even if they don't have a real shot with you. And you definitely had friends and past flings try to control you. But your angels are very proud of you guys for being very mature through this uh, transformation. I feel like also a lot of you have incarnated to like in your family and you just feel very different from everyone else, but you are doing a really great job. As strangers are saying, I know you guys probably heard it all before, but I'm just going over all this because I feel like where you're going, you're going to be able to just like, be like, okay, wow. I can see why everything has happened that way. Like you're at the end of a cycle. You're at the end of a road where you're going to be saying goodbye to your old way of life. And, um, I think that a lot of people intuitively felt that you might have, you might have left them behind, especially like people that you dated. So they kind of try to hurt you before you hurt them and stuff like that. A lot of five of swords energy here. So I just want to remind you of your big destiny. So you don't get caught up in the little details and look at the bigger picture because divine orchestration is leading you exactly where you need to be to your ideal situation, to whatever it is you guys have wanted to manifest from the jump. And I feel like you guys are destined to be with somebody. So whether or not you feel like you know them or not, just, just be patient with the process. And I feel that a lot of you are getting into that flow, getting into that energy. And that's why a lot of people are so pressed because they don't know how you're getting so content with yourself. They don't know how you're still standing after what they put you through. Do you have friends and exes? Like, how are they still going? How do they have this stamina? How are they not giving up yet? How are they still winning? Even if you guys don't feel like you're winning, you are because you have the strength of a thousand people and your angels are backing you up. You got people on the other side backing you up. You got people in this life backing you up too. You got... A lot of people supporting you, whether or not they say it or not. And you need to know that you're also going to have a soulmate here at your side. And you're going to have a, a relationship that most people are going to desire. And if you are in a relationship right now, this could be your sign that you're dealing with a lot of evil eye because of the way that you guys got it going on. So don't forget how far you've come. Don't forget how great you are. Just because people are trying you. Your energy is just something that speaks for itself. And... You're meant to be in higher places. Sometimes people will push you out of environments or treat you badly or treat you lowly because you're not meant to be there and they could feel that on you. And it could be animosity, it could be jealousy, or it could be you're the universe pushing you in a different direction. And you're being pushed in a different direction right now. As uncomfortable as you guys could be, if you're going through a breakup or you felt rejected by someone, you're just being pushed in a different direction. It truly isn't personal. Divine intervention is protection. I feel when you're on a divinely orchestrated path, you become more in flow with whatever is meant to happen will happen and doing what you're feeling called to do and not taking things personally. When you're on the wrong path, you're just seeking validation and you're seeking control and you're seeking ownership and possession or things that are not in front of you. But I feel like you guys are going for what the dream life that you really want. And there's going to be people moving in the other direction where they want a hold of you or, or other things, or you're just not relating to a lot of people around you because you're actually moving on this very on course divinely orchestrated path right now and uh for some of you guys you, this could be an awakening like something new to you and some of you guys you've been doing this for a while and you're tired but if you've been doing this for a while you guys have been with me since day one just know that like things are about to pop off okay i can see it i could definitely see it especially if like the heat's been turning up 
in your life? The hot seat, yeah. You're just putting you in the hot seat because they're like, do you really want this? Do you really want this paradise? Because you're going to get it. And if people are talking about you, it's a sign that you're amazing. Because you know what the ladder is? People don't talk about other people the way they talk about you guys. People don't care about people the way they care about you guys. You know, not for nothing, maybe you can't blame some of these people for being upset or jealous that you're going places they're not going. But you incarnated for a specific purpose and you're following it. And that's not really anyone else's problem. So just keep going. Your hard work is paying off. Um, whether or not you feel like it isn't or not, because logically speaking, you may not see the results or logically speaking, the money may not be coming in like you hoped or, or things are coming to an end and you're like, oh my gosh, my life is falling apart. But in all reality, you're being moved. You're being moved right now. Whether it is career, energetically, your whole being, all of the above. And you're going to be able to be bold and make a move towards the things that you really, really desire. And as well. Another thing I do want to say too, because you have this big destiny, it is very hard for people to date you guys. And you may have realized this by now. You may have been here a while and heard this over and over again. But what I do want to say as well is your soulmate is also being prepped in the same way. And I do feel that this person, regardless of what goes on around them, they're going to have the ability to be bold and make that move towards you. And some of you guys know who this person is, but you are wondering what's taking so long. Why are they acting like this? Or why are they acting like that? I really think it comes down to the fact, especially with this, uh, this person sees you in, as a star, as this person that they want to be their best towards. So even if they don't logically compute this, energetically speaking, they are working their way towards you. You're just saying like, um, enjoy your life right now with people that feel like family to you or your friends, or if you don't have people like that, you have them coming in. A lot of good changes are happening and just know that like if everything is being wiped off your path right now, you're headed towards a brand new beginning. And again, you guys want to check out the last pile because I do feel like you have some past exes and friends like trying to come back energetically or, or trying right now. And you're just going to have to, you know, take out that, that sword and or some of you guys already your angels are doing that for you so it's just very quiet right now but i feel like you're going to be elevated to a new level of success no matter what level you're at right now it's going to be I'm, I'm hearing 10 times that so okay you guys have been doing the work uh for sure um and i do feel like there's someone here who's going to start courting you the way that you guys deserve to and you are headed towards a union like i said um i feel like with the obstacles there none of these obstacles are there because you are being blocked or these lower energies are winning or the darkness has taken over or you've lost the battles. No, it, the obstacles sometimes are actually placed there to teach specific lessons so that um, the angels and your guys or God, whatever you believe, know that you're ready for this. A lot of what you've gone through is just preparation and people were uh, divinely selected <laughs> to your life, even to hurt you guys. I know it sounds kind of messed up. I do also feel that some people are meant to be on your path and mess up too. I do believe in free will, but for a lot of you, I do feel you got a soulmate here that they're not going to let this person miss the mark. So whether or not you know them or not, I feel like you're saying keep an open mind though, because regardless, you're going to be with somebody, but a lot of you, a new person's coming in and that's why you're just being asked to be patient here because it shouldn't be complicated when it comes down to it. Okay. Oh, pff, can't even talk right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like with this pile, definitely cleanse your energy. Um, it's definitely been a long day for me too. So if you feel guided to rest, please do rest. The energy is very intense right now. And often we push ourselves when we feel like we're not getting the results that we want. When in reality, we just need to lay low and chill until the next step comes. So um, that's kind of what I'm hearing for you guys. Just remain positive right now. And I feel like some of you, there's a specific message where you do really like somebody but there's just a lot of like energy around them or there's things going on that really concerns you when it comes to them but you're anxious to say that that we got this you know we're gonna we're pushing this person towards the right steps don't worry about it so yeah if you have somebody on your mind your heart just know they're being led towards the best possible situation for them and i also feel for some of you guys it could not even be someone you want to be with you're just worried about them especially the last pile like this is like a past person and you can't be there for them because you know you got better things your angels take care of it it's not your job to be taking care of everybody uh i just feel like where you guys are going you're gonna be helping so many more people or whatever it is that you guys want to do so just keep it up the good work there's nothing to worry about and also this card came up in my uh collective reading i just posted on monday so you want to check it out uh, we got a yes there so 
Whatever you guys are thinking, like you've got a yes. I think that some of you guys feel like you have met somebody, the one, and they're being prepped and coming back like new. And I feel for some of you, you just feel like the one is coming. You're getting a lot of signs about it. And you are. Um, so that's what I'm seeing for you guys. But there's a sixes energy. There's an energy where you guys need to like, even though there could be some opposition or some low vibrational, not focus on it. Just focus on how amazing and how great you guys are doing abundance a lot of abundance is coming too yeah so you guys are financially struggling right now i just feel like you're just getting every trigger in the book just because of the fact that you're going through a transformation right now and also i think that some of you guys your money was kind of like going down because you need to make a change or some of you guys were kind of being forced to stay in a certain environment while you go through this transformation and then once um you guys get everything back aligned to what you need to do whatever you're guided to do things are going to start up again so you're actually on the right path here as much as it may not feel like it um yeah, I'm attracted to those who serve my higher good. Yeah, so I just feel that you guys may go through a phase where you guys are not even interested in love anymore. And that, mean, that means that you are going into a place where there's going to be better people that will serve your higher good. Because I feel some of you guys have gone through a phase where you weren't interested in dating at all or a long single period. And I think that actually is a sign of you healing and getting ready for the right person. So there's no mess around when this person comes in. Some of you guys have exes that like to cause messes, you know? Especially if you pick the last pile, that is definitely going to happen, but you'll be able to handle it. So yeah, right now you're being asked to surrender. Um, as ironic as it sounds, I think you're just want you guys to chill with the readings and not focus on, you know, who's out to get you, what's happening here. Just keep cleansing. Uh, picture yourself being protected. I think you're just being shown what you need to see. If you feel drawn to, you know, listening to something, go ahead, but uh, not overthink it. And if there is someone in your life that you guys really do um feel is for you they just surrender because they're going to be coming like i feel like there's a pile where you guys just kind of know already like how things are going you just need extra confirmation and some of you guys are just concerned about some energies of people that mm -mm. yeah they're saying don't worry about it don't worry about what what everyone else is doing right now all these people are really doing is gossiping or whatever and no one can really get in the way of the person that you guys are meant to be with your angels won't allow it and if the person you're meant to be with you feel like is is not worthy or effing up, then there's someone else coming in. They said, "Well, you'll not. You're not going to be alone. But you deserve someone that treats you with respect and everything like that. You guys know that. Um, because I feel for the majority of people watching this pile, it's really a sign you got a new love coming in because a lot of your past situations have been confusing or messy. But there's a few amount of people that actually feel like they've met the one, and um, you when you know, you know. You know, who am I to tell you otherwise? Definitely a lot of money coming in. A lot of opportunities. Yeah, I feel like you guys are, you cleared house of a lot of narcissistic draining energy. You've been working on yourself. So you're going to have a lot of energies coming in of people that actually want to help you out. And you're not used to it. So that's why it's so important to heal and, and learn how to be in the flow energy. Because there are people that are being sent to help you guys out if you haven't met them already. There's a bug that just like jumped off my wall. <laughs> It's been a long day, guys. Where did you come from? Yeah, I just feel like you're going to start seeing, like, things just jump out of nowhere. Like, really good stuff. And also, before you know it, you guys are just going to be in some divine union. <laughs> you know, it's just going to happen out of nowhere. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. And if it does feel like someone from your past, then I feel they are definitely going through a transformation right now where they are facing their demons as well. Whether or not they're in your life currently or they took some time off, you could pick up their pile, could relate to them. But that's what I'm seeing. I do hope you guys like that message because the energy that you're feeling right now is a lot of people in situations that are um, realizing that you guys have changed and you're going through a very rapid transformation and you guys may have felt like a lot of evil eye or even eyes on you from people that you thought you've been done with or people are maybe coming for your life or gunning for you that you don't even really care exist. And it's because they could see that you are um, vibing up to your full potential. So keep up the good work. Um, I actually feel like you guys are on the end of this energy. Like I feel like things are actually going to improve. It's just more of like the fear of these things happening again. But I think that you guys are doing a great job. So I do hope you guys like that message. I hope it was optimistic and positive. We have to be continued because as I said, I'm trying to like read into this too much. They actually just want you guys to just go with the flow because all of you watching have specific things that are happening for you, for your path. And you're just want you to keep developing a connection with them. 
like I'm here for reassurance, but I actually feel like a lot of you guys do have the gifts to just like trust your intuition and you're already kind of knowing what's going on all the time. The only thing that sometimes may blur your guys' judgment is fear or feeling like you're crazy. Like, do I really have this big destiny? Yes, 666, so go for it, okay? Because you would not have all this challenge if, if it wasn't for that. But the next couple of weeks, forgiveness and big happy changes. Yeah, I feel like you guys are in a process right now of releasing the past so you can get ready for the new version of you. This is a pile where I really feel like the old you, you don't even feel like yourself anymore. And you guys are going through such a rapid transformation. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm watching this bug and it just like keeps falling. I think he's like walking, but he keeps falling off the wall, or like jumping off of it. So I just feel that your new life is getting jump started. Like you're just going to be like thrown into it. And that's why you guys are being prepared for it. This is like an old, this is like definitely like my night change, my life changed overnight energy. Even if you guys have been working really hard in this Capricorn slow patient energy, it's to get to this point where things are just going to start to accelerate for you. And you've been going through accelerated like growth and, and challenges, but now you're going to go through accelerated um, life changes and blessings. So I feel like a lot of you are going to believe this. And I also feel, um, I'm hearing be humble when this happens because this is going to be really big. So I do hope you guys like this message. Um, bye guys.